All right, we're live. What's good, everybody? How we doing? Welcome to the Worst Magic Arena stream. Very nice to have you all here with me. Uh, man, boys, uh, we're, we're not running the smart dinosaurs today. No, no, we're not. Um, it, the Roaming Throne's kind of awkward. I'm going to be real with you right now. It's a hell of a lot of fun when we get it right, but it's really awkward. It comes in, you know, the turn after tribute to the World Tree when we want to be hitting our Bone Horn. We want to be hitting our Polani's Hatcher, definitely. But, man, let, let's talk about the Roaming Throne because we want to hit all those things, all these guys up here, the turn after Roaming Throne. It's got Ward, too. That's pretty sweet. What's good, Tana? As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. We'll probably choose Dinosaurs. Hearts back at you. Roaming Throne is the chosen type in addition to its other types. That's okay. Let's stop right there. That's just mildly interesting for tonight since we have three of them. Sometimes we might have two roaming thrones on the field, and um, dinosaur typing called for both of them. So they both become dinosaurs, right? So that Ward 2 ability that they have is a uh, triggered ability. So that's kind of cool that they, if there's two of them both called dinosaur, right? Then they can uh, help each other trigger each other's or triggered ability twice. Wow. That a lot of words there. Okay. Um, let's hover back over it. So if a triggered ability of another creature controlled, the chosen type triggers, it triggers an additional time. And that Ward 2 ability on a roaming throne that may or may not become a dinosaur tonight, that's just the least of it, man. Because let's start off with Polani's Hatcher, man. This is the real shit that I want to pull today. The, the title's spamming the field. I want to spam the field. How am I going to accomplish that? Polani's Hatcher. When it enters the battlefield, create two zero one green dinosaur egg creature tokens with one roaming throne that'll be four tokens instead thank you so much and keep on plus twoing right um for each uh, roaming throne and then at the beginning of combat on your turn blah 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 blah. you know the egg becomes the three uh the three one or is it three three i don't fucking remember it doesn't matter what matters is that it's got three power man it's going to draw us a card off a tribute to the world tree as a matter of fact you know what uh rewind for a moment those zero one eggs are actually not going to be completely useless thank you tribute to the world tree oh my god blessed favorite they're actually going to be two threes that's not bad t gat hey big what's good gat back at you welcome to the worst magic green stream so yeah Polani's hatcher is a really cool uh, cool one here um and a, a nice play we'll have is you know going a tally or trumpeting carnosaur which obviously don't have haste but you know um they'll wind up casting for us the Polani's hatcher which will enter and uh give haste to them so that is quite nice and, and in addition of course to all the dinosaur eggs um speaking of trumpeting carnosaur it's in here kind of like as a, a second chance of going a tally into polani's hatcher right because if we uh a tally into a this you know we get a second chance here it freaking discovers five man and it's an etb right so discover five how about right there hell it could put a roaming throne on the field i mean obviously it'll put freaking anything but i guess uh, a tally and another one of it onto the Wow, excuse me. Onto the field. So, um, yeah, I like that guy. Obviously, we're running four, four Italies. Do you guys know what I like, man? Uh, three roaming thrones tonight because honestly, man, one of my, my one of my like bucket list goals is to do like so much chain Italying that we wind up exiling entire great or entire libraries. You know, uh, we we would have to be careful in that hypothetical eventuality with tribute to the world tree and decking ourselves. But that that's honestly what I want to do. Oh, by the way, before we uh, get into this one, boys, um, I got the cosmetic style for Intrepid Paleontologist from Midweek Magic. That's right, not a uh, random nondescript draft chaffed common cosmetic style for your boy today fellas oh i got the intrepid paleontologist that could have been lanoir loam speaker nah paleontologist that could have been armored scrap gorger you know what i would take it but that's not paleontologist oh my god i got that one what and i i get to i get to admire that and fucking tell everybody how great i am because i have that for for how many years in standard is it oh god I, i'm fucking awesome oh god what what are these lands oh um oh yeah we're, we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> mulligan this one you know if it had three lands maybe like take out one of these uh five and up costers put in the land yeah probably take that yeah, yeah like this exactly exactly like this now how the hell am i doing this man i mean do i get rid of polani's hatcher and just try to go straight into a tally is that is that reckless i genuinely have no fucking idea what to do i think i might uh, god damn i'm sorry 
That was incredibly stressful for me. I need to catch my breath. I also debated dropping a land. I debated everything. Oh. Alright, alright, that's, that's pretty interesting. Um, I'm actually going to drop this one since the paleontologist is a little better than it. Normally it'd be better to use my man. I say that every time, but uh, honestly, <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> it sounds cheesy, but it's kind of important to me that people pick shit up. Not to be arrogant, you know, most of you probably aren't learning it, but if there's fucking one, who will, you know? Alright, let, let, let's take a look at those lands. Everything looks uh, copacetic here. Go ahead and grab a nice green right fast. Now, why do you keep gaining life? What's going on here? I'll finally read it now, even though it uh, went onto the field, and then it went onto the stack twice. Maybe I'll go ahead and give it a read. Whenever a non-basic land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, you gain one life. Oh, okay. Cute and a uh, commander, too. Okay. Moon Watcher! Yeah! <laughs> How we doing, man? Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream. It is very nice to have you. You know what, dude? Um, honestly, let's uh, tap for green here. Paleontologist also. We're going for a tally. Let's enjoy dinner while watching some Dino Smashing. Wow, good taste, Moon Watcher, if I do say so myself. And uh, I, I hope I uh, hope I can give you a nice little uh, nice little entree here with the tally. Let's see, man. We got all of our appetizers on the field. You know, the topiary stomper salad there. That's pretty. Oh, stop. All right. I got, oh, he's on two lands too, by the way. Sorry. I I gotta go for it, man. Sorry. He's mana screwed. We, we might not even take this turn. Come on, drop the land. Thank you. Thank you. If he didn't drop the land, he might have left. Sky Strike Officer. Oh, no. Heavens to Betsy. Whatever shall I do? All right, boys. It's asking him to do this. <laughs> All right. Let's do a lot of Italies. A lot. A lot of Italies. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here we go. All right, yep, yep, this is what I want. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, sure. I yeah, might as well drop that on the field. You know, we want to get a Polani Hatcher, ultimately. So that's not going to happen. Oh, yes, Roaming Throne. All right. Um, this. Call Dinosaur. No. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, he's on three lands. <laughs> this is obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> he's on three land once again that's stupid he stayed for a pretty long time though right I mean he should have left at the f site of the first Italy on the stack what was he going to do even if we whiffed on Italy there Oh, maybe he had a brutal Cathar. Oh God. Yep, we'll take fine. Want land number three? Want to go? Do I want to go paleontologist? It's with. If they drop a black, I'll go with Squint first. Oh, blue white, huh? Nice sleeves. Come on, man. Draw me that land right here. Wow. All right, you know what? That's paleontologist. I want to get the roaming thrown down. Although we'll honestly still need another land drop to hit the hatcher the next turn. Everything's got to go like super perfect. I boys, boys, did I just say he's a blue white player? It's some things I'm not even gonna lie to you, buddy. Like I'm ready to fucking leave right. God damn it, you're a fucking asshole. Just hurry up and take forever to suck to face. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, boys. This guy's a fucking retard. I'm not gonna sit here. He's sitting there, he's eating his boogers. I'm, I'm not going to sit and wait for him to fucking pick his nose and then eat it and then get back to the game, you know? 
uh, his caretaker sitting there wiping his mouse because he's got his fucking boogers on his... No, thank you, man. Good lord, dude. That was one second of magic brought to you in a whole entire minute. Tana with the wave there. Yeah, wave goodbye. Deuces. Wow. New four mana board wipe. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, we don't have enough board wipes. Thank God. All right, yeah, I'm probably going to add a play set of them into my uh, board wipe tribal deck. Oh, man. It's funny. People just leave. I have trouble socializing. Oh, yes, that's the third source of green. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't die. Don't die. At least it's not better than Depop. Okay, okay, fair enough. Inter inter interestingly phrased. At least it's not better. Um, that makes it that my activated abilities can't be played there, which is awkward. Very, very awkward, because I don't have the four mana to uh, free that up with Tranquil Frill back. And we didn't even have the green there to just drop tribute. Okay, you know what? That's kind of all right. Uh, let's attack. Uh, you know what? I am going to drop one of these. Just so that I have more on the field. Think he missed a land drop there? Okay, you got that one. How do I do this, dude? I think I want to go tribute here. And then, and then do I attack? Yeah, I feel pretty good about getting that uh, Tranquil down. And now that it's the only thing that actually swings in there. Oh, we got the second white. Okay, that's unfortunate. Siege veteran. He's, he's putting stuff onto the field. This is good. This is good. Ooh, what's good, Atali? All right, let's uh, do this. All right, let's do uh, this guy. All right. Go ahead and uh, pay one. Uh, do I pay anything? Oh, I can't. My bad, my bad, my bad. Right. <laughs> it's not It's not freed yet. Okay, now it's freed. Topiary Stomper. Okay, no attacks. A little bit of counting here. We're at five capacity for mana. A little short of a tally, but... Stomper, Paleontologist in hand. Honestly, I could just drop Polani's Hatcher. Maybe we should start spamming Polani's Hatchers, because it'll get us a lot of cards. I, I, I'd like the land drops. Done with Dino. Oh, done with dinner. That was some good steak. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Glad I'm still decent at cooking. Yeah, good skill. Good skill. Oh, yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, no attacks? No attacks. Yeah, cooking. Ultimate useful. How'd, how'd you season your steaks, Moon Watcher? Right, anything adventurous? Just, just classic? Just salt and pepper kind of guy? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, we're going to block that with its quint because that allows us to dig it up and then kill their siege veteran. Do we just double block or triple block that, maybe? Nah. I just chumped that shit. Alright, man. We could also go double Topiary Stomper here, but we might want to get rid of that Siege Veteran. Um, oh, I gotta move my text box over. Okay, now I can actually click that button. Click it! God damn it! Alright, I'll just order the triggers for good practice. You know, it doesn't fucking ma Okay, you know what? That took like eight clicks. Taking a lot of extra clicks for everything. All right, let's uh, let's smash him over the head. I don't really see him attacking in for lethal, so I don't really give a shit to be honest. Being a little bit of a cowboy here. Oh, he's on mobile. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Salt, pepper, ooh, squeeze a little lemon or... Oh, okay, okay. Very common to cook them with onions. Here, oh, 
Beautiful, beautiful. The whole steak. Here in America, we have a thing called a cheesesteak. Like, a city called Philadelphia is pretty uh, famous for them. As a matter of fact, they're called Philly cheesesteaks. But interesting. Very good. So he's got 11 damage to swing around there. We're just too wide. I mean, this is an anthem effect, right? Is this a creature or an anthem effect? I forgot. Oh, oh, yuck. Oh, he does have lifelink here, though. Okay, that is something to think about, the lifelink there. Um, I mean, what am I doing here, dude? What, what am I doing? If I get another um, Polani's Hatra on the field, do we just go so fucking wide that there's nothing he can do? We have to take him down from nine, let's say. Um, if he blocks, let's say, one right here, and then two right here, and then three, right? And then, uh, let's say, he would take... Um, say, uh, yeah, I, I think we win if we do this. Right, because we're going to flip both of those eggs thanks to the Polanyi's Hatchers. There's this thing, ooh, some cheese, okay, okay. There's this thing called horse steak where you fry an egg on top, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna, I think we're gonna take him down from nine there. But yes, yeah, so we can see there, like the roaming thrones, they're kind of awkward. But nevertheless, I, I wanna get a lot of Italis. Don't know. Yeah, I, why is it called horse steak? I don't get it. Maybe there's a story involved in its origin. Oh man, but yeah, awkward roaming thrones, but it's gonna be worth it for the uh, for the silly Italian plays. We already had a little bit of one, but unfortunately, the guy had such a shitty game. I think he had just put down his third land, so yeah, he left. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, that's, no. No. Okay, I get it. Yeah, and beautiful keep five, right? Yeah, fuck you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, it's condescending. I'm insulted. I'm not, I'm on principle. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, I can keep that. I'm not, I know, I know the keep five is beautiful. No, I'm not keeping five. No, I gotta, I gotta train the machine to, re to recognize that I leave... After the keep, after the keep six, got to make sure it, it analyzes my data. He he always leaves after keep six. Make the keep six hand good, not the keep five. Tell you, man, I'm I'm convinced that that keep five hand is a sign that it it can it can craft me nice hands. Ah uh, man, yeah, that's that's a mall, man. Take, yep, take, get rid of Italia just too far out. Never heard of people eating horses, but it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. Um, this one, just in case we get a tribute to the world tree. Uh, oh, let me, let me get it squint down. I think it's better to do that because if he dies, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Because the egg is riding the stake. Ooh, okay, okay, I like that. The egg is riding the stake, okay. Ooh, Ixali is a lore keeper. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So I think we extend onto the field here for the uh, Trumpet and Carnosaur. And then get board wiped and then leave. Oh, not temporary lockdown. Oh, breathe. Deep breaths. All right, dinosaur. Let's, uh, let's drop this, dude. Pretty cool, dude. Discover, so maybe we can keep something in our hand here. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Eh, put in the fucking hand. We'll need it after we're board wiped to get to uh, five mana for the hatcher. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he's committing onto the field. Oh, a, a draw mechanism, too. Nevertheless. Okay, all right, buddy. Yeah, we, we got to rush him down here. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Probably should just block it when the air. All right, he gotta do something here. Um, end turn. We're gonna have an extra three-three dinosaur. Thank you, Hatcher. Next turn. I mean, assuming he don't wipe, but he, you know, he committed that welcoming vampire onto the field. All right, that is a life linker. He can only activate or trigger that ability once. He doesn't. He didn't pay for it. What else does he have? Okay, we have to take him down from seven here. Well, we're starting out... Oh, stop. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do. Yep, doesn't look like a board wipe deck indeed. Yep, I was wrong. I think I saw Hal earlier when I was uh, deranking a little bit. My, how uh, the turntables, Hal. Oof. Love people who sit there and play their and play their uh, you know, their card draw shit, their greedy card draw enchantment, their greedy card draw creature. I guess the creature isn't that greedy. Two, three, flyer for three. Just love my cards, man. Optimus Prime here. We are taking this hand. Two lands, unfortunately, but we draw first, and we got a Paleontologist. Cosmetic style, by the way. Wow, that's nice. Oh, midweek magic was good to me this time, man. Paleontologist of their own. You know what? I am dropping my own paleontologist now because I want to uh, pay that off it's, into a uh, its quint plus trigger on their paleontologist. As a matter of fact. All right, so they're not going to have four mana to do exactly what I just described to me. Yearling. Okay. Okay. No attacks. I'll have Itzquinth block the belligerent yearling, especially if they drop a hammer skull. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll block that. Yeah, I'll die. Fucking okay. Are you going to give it Tamio's safekeeping? You better give it Tyvar's. Tamio's safekeeping is fucking lame. Alright, okay, alright. Okay. I like it. Eh, if I do Topiary Stomper the next turn, maybe I could do Trim... Eh. This guy. This guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just gotta, gotta be greedy, man. Um, yeah. Attack. I'm not gonna block with that thing. Alright, so I did that because um, if we draw the land, we have a chance to do um, Tribute and then Topiary Stomper, which is absurd. Wow. Wow, um, how greedy do I want to be? How fucking greedy do I, I want to be? I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so greedy. I can't attack because he has this. I don't want to lose my room. The whole fucking point is to sit here and just go nuts with these guys. He missed a, another land. Oh, yikes. That's awful. Alright, let's go ahead and exile Itzquinth. He might just leave if he doesn't get the uh, land next turn. <laughs> if we get, do we have six? Oh, we have six. Oh God. Ooh, forget about it. Oh, watch this, boys. Oh, this is so sad for this guy. Wow. 
Wow. Oh god. Oh god. That's so sad. Yeah, that's horrible. You don't even have your land, do you? Yeah, that's it. That's that's too bad for our Optimus Prime. That's frustrating, man. That is frustrating. Double it's Quint too. The double it's Quint, man. Guy's too good. It's because of the paleontologist too, man. I keep saying it, but god damn it, it keeps proving itself to me. Just you dig it up and use it again. Get another kill. Block with it in combat. Good. Legend rule it out. Fucking good. Another one goes to the graveyard. Paleontologist. God damn. Nice says Tana. Thank you. Moon Watcher says, did you see the new big booty matters card? Fly. Oh, oh, the Arcades deck. Oh, right. Okay. I get you now. I didn't know what you were talking about, but Arcades. Yep. I saw that one right into the Arcades deck it goes. Yep, I really appreciate that it's another source of um, letting my defenders attack us so they didn't have defender. Um, I, I forget what the rest of it does. It, what's it, like a casting cost reduction by uh, one, it costs one less, like for each point of toughness you have on the field or some shit. That's so cool. So cool. I don't think I'm going to run in as a commander, but absolutely right into the uh, Arcades deck. I think all that I would do running it as a commander is get a little bit of intrigue, like a couple of views that don't even last too long because they're going to come here and see that it's not very good. Taking white out of that one, unfortunately, like it, it loses you access to like high alert and shit like that. But, oh man, I can't wait to have that. I think I already know what I want to take out of the Arcades deck, Panharmonicon. I just haven't been, um, I haven't been thrilled with it over the few times that I've played that deck now. Um, it's Quinth. Yeah. Looking forward to see the Mole God cards. Okay, okay, okay. And Tgat will be that guy and say, I don't like the new set. Hey, fair enough. Yo, Tgat, I was that guy and I said that I was less than thrilled with fucking dinosaurs. Uh, mostly because they didn't flesh out, you know, red and, or excuse me, black and blue dinosaurs. And to be real, white dinosaurs also, which is the real shame. Whoa. Uh, you, you good, man. You good. I appreciate honesty here, man. I'm trying to be real out here. I need that performative theatrical production of positivity. He has one card in hand. Oh, yikes. Um, baby questing beast. All right, so what's going on there, man? Man, that march over there. Yikes. By the way, I didn't check out what he exiled, but... Ooh. All right, so tokens, right? Or at least weenies, if not tokens. But, you know, we see this. Okay, okay. Whoa, that is... That is big desperate. Good thing we know that about this person, though, right? Let's do, uh, yeah. With, with that mountain, I'm going roaming throne here. Um, dinosaur. Yeah, and then next turn we'll do double topiary stomper, right? Uh, wow. Okay, yeah, so double Topiary Stomper, um, and what do we get? Eh, just two greens. He got Urza's Silex down. Oh, he's a miserable idiot. Oh, right. Okay, you're miserable. All right. He wants the card out of Wedding Announcement, so that attack makes sense. Um, all right, how are we... Do oh, we can blow both of these up with... Oh, God, boys. Start clapping already. The, tra the Tranquil Frillback's just too good, dude. Um, let's do uh, this one, too, and that. All right, we're good. Watch, pro, pro tour level Tranquil Frillback here. I got you, I got you, I got you. Watch this. Um, so, only pay one into the first ability, because you can only make each choice once per ability. So, we're going to destroy that. Suck it, cocksucker. Now, we will pay one again. We will destroy target artifact or enchantment again. Suck it, cocksucker. Oh, everybody, you're all welcome. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I deserve it. All right, but if he drops another Urza Silex, that's going to be really annoying. <laughs> All 
<sighs> Assemble the players. Delny Streetwise. Okay, I, I saw that one uh, spoiled possibly today. Delny Streetwise. Yeah, I saw that one. It's a cool use of th thrown with th Frillback. Yeah, that's. it's really nice that you can actually do each one multiple times. And gaining four life twice against red is great. Um, is it this one? I think it is, right? I don't have enough to play the uh, trumpeting carnosaur. I, I want to. Are you just going to leave? Alright, so, uh, grab two greens. Oh, big is spicy with his... I'm yeah, sorry, he, 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 he... Urza's Silex and, and fucking this. I'm sorry, I saw red. Man, all right, yeah, let's get uh, that stuff down. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real nice. Oh, wait, um... Hey, yeah, let's just attack. He got three depopulates in his hand. You know what? He does that, good. Um, hopefully next turn he can't block. Then maybe, maybe we'll use the Trumpeting Carnosaur. Yeah, I think we should drop the Carnosaur on the field, because we want the chance to get the um, Polani's Hatcher. And does he hit his shitty little board wipe here? Enchant will be nice in the Nahiri Resolve deck. Okay. Okay. Which enchant? Let me scroll up a little. See what Tana said. Oh, but you're talking about Boros, the enchantment. Oh, okay, that's why it would go well in uh, your Nahiri Resolve deck. Okay, okay, okay. So this means he can't kill the uh, Roaming Throne, I guess. Playing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger. Oh, and then the next one. Oh, at least he exiled it instead of uh, letting us exile it and bring it back. <laughs> Boy, that that's how you know that he sucks. It's How long did that take for him to concede immediately after? That's how I know he sucks. He could have left a long time ago, and if he did that, he could have let me swing. What? What, what did he think? Could he not... Could could he not like predict and maybe you know project some mental image of what the board would look like you know minus my tranquil throwback, minus his march in hand. Fucking what? Maybe maybe he thought that my creatures would all just go on strike, walk out the door, and take all my life points out with them. Maybe he thought that would happen. Hard counting to three, said Moonwatcher. Yeah, shit, I should know. I play green. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Good point. Deals one damage when a creature enters. So blink. Ooh, yeah, with Nahiri's resolve. Okay, Tana. Hello there, freaking GC from Spain. Yes. Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. It's very nice to have you. Freaking okay, boys. Paleontologist here. And once again, let's give that a spinner, Runeo. Oh, yes. Yes. And that the whole time it's in standard and got this shit off of midweek magic. Yes. One of my better cosmetics from midweek magic. I guess the other one being the, uh, the Vraska. All right. Uh, that is actually pretty interesting. I, sh I should honestly do that and not put this out to risk my source of green, but rather, you know, just guarantee it. Okay, well, I see my man's at Platinum 1 over there, so maybe he's doing a little bit of what I do. <laughs> Drop a land to get around some shitty auto detection system, should they have it. Get the hell out. Did you see those detectives? Says uh, GC. I didn't take too good of a uh, of a look at the um, at the spoilers. 
saw I saw I take a better look at the green cards to be perfectly honest or green red. I, I saw the Trostani. I, I like pretty much all the combinations with green. I suppose I should say. As for playing and keeping one, I ballsy, very ballsy of him. Yep, I get mono red doing that, but Esper? Wow, yep. Yeah. How am I doing this? Alright. Uh, we're going to actually need payoff, though. We're going to need, like, tribute to at least draw cards out of these to get into payoff, or just straight out the payoff. Yep, there it is. Alright, um, so this, attack, paleontologist. Paleontologist, please live, because I need you to produce green next turn. I think it's the better target on the field. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, this is a artifact creature. Um, I still am going to get down my tribute, I think. Uh, yeah, that's no attack. Could have dunked on... Could have dunked on that with the uh, Trinkle Frillback. Alright, we'll dunk on it here. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good here. Alright, so tap this for a green tap that. Alright, what, what do I need to do with Paleontologist? I might as well just gain the life. Alright. Uh... Um. Hey, hey, hey! All right, all right. I mean, it's not the payoff we need, but you know, I mean, that is land or, or mana capacity number seven, land number five, land number five. So, the tally. Trumpeting Carnosaur, if one of the dorks dies. We are up against a deck with red. Is it, as a matter of fact? Is it some type of artifacts? Okay. Uh, he must have some type of combat trick. I will make him blow it. Go ahead. You do your fucking worst, buddy. Is it, was it monstrous rage? Oh, yes, please. Yes, fucking please. Alright, Dino. Alright, we do need to, like, actually draw some good, though. <laughs> uh, ooh, yes, please. As a matter of fact, this puts down lands uh, 6 and 7. Now it can attack a block. That's really good. That was a great turn. All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If if this double x um double discovers five into two, um, Polani's hatchers. I'm I'm fucking done, man. Okay. Okay. But oh man, you know what? I appreciate that he's building his own deck here. But he got you got to get more artifact spells in this one. I get it. Your artifact theme that says artifact in it. I like it. You. Know? All right. Yeah. We're we're going for us. Come on, baby. Come on. I need a hatcher. Oh, fuck you. Put in hand. I don't want that shit. There. That's what I want. Yeah. How much more mana do we have? Come on, dude. I will get this down. It's going to attack a block. Yep, I don't blame him. Hey! Alright! Trumpeting Carnosaur. Got it, man. Yeah, that's why I put four of them in here today. It's just, it's funny. Gotta got be spamming the field, right? We, I think we spammed the field there, right? We got a sizable chunk of eggs there. Pretty good. Got a nice little, uh, nice little nest of eggs. And Polani's hat. Them Polani's hatchers mean getting busy. All them eggs! All the little dinosaur eggs, and those aren't just little dinosaur eggs. The di the dinosaur eggs they grew little dinosaur feet and dino maybe little dinosaur arms, and the the eggs are walking around on their legs. They're two three creatures. That's good. 
Shit! Tana with the three goats! I like that too! Yeah! I love the idea of what would be little dinosaur eggs just still and resting in a nest or instead just like, you know, they like, they get up, they grow like hairy legs. <laughs> and they're just running around and shit. Killing their creatures. Alright, fine, I'm gonna keep this. Whatever, man. How do I do this, man? Yeah, I'm gonna go Lore Keeper first. We'll go Rockfall Veil vale, and it's Quint next turn. I guess. If I get a land that enters untapped, I'd like to go Paleontologist instead. Honestly, now I want to go Itzquint. Um. Because they dropped the swamp, so I think something might die. We'd like that to be Itzquint, because Paleontologist. Don't want to lose my dorks, because uh, we got a tally in hand as payoff and really no in-between steps. Thank you. God, my routine is messed up. Hello, fatties. Hey, welcome, welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream, Richard Dragon. You're getting that, uh, you're getting that routine fixed up right here by uh, being in the right place at the right time, man. You know what? They want to thin out my library. I, I, all right, man. I got two lands in hand. Honestly, I'll take it. Let me get, let me flex on him. Hang on, hang on. Let me, yeah, let me get that one. Let me flex on. Him. Show him that I engage in fucking microtransactions, so the store's gonna favor me today, bitch ass motherfucker. Alright, um how am I doing this, man? Do we wanna get it squint out and attacking them? Nah, let, let's just attack. Cause I was just thinking, you, you know, that seems useless, but it, it would just be a red herring to uh, absorb their removal so that the dorks don't die and I get a tally. Oh okay. Cosmetic style, by the way, beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and exile its quint for, for later use. We're not using it now. Ah, oh, shit, I should have taken something out of their graveyard. I had the mana. My bad. Yeah, I should have done that. All right. A tranquil frill back. Uh, that's all right. It's got death touch. It's pretty good. On the plus side, I got to see a guy do a backflip of a uh, off a van onto a cop car at the bar. Oh, sick, yo! Parkour! Parkour! Oh, we Okay, I thought for sure he was going to be bringing the, uh, the inv- Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I gotta read that card, man. Yeah, if if my shit would die, exile it. Put all creature cards exiled with this thing onto the battlefield under your control. Okay, so they ain't had the uh, they ain't had the removal. Ooh, he failed. Ooh, he failed. It must have hurt. Oh boy, the cop car. Ru oh, poor sport. Poor sport. Poor sport. Poor sport cop car. Come on, man. The guy was just having some fun. Alright, alright, alright. Genuinely can't believe that wasn't the end, though. I thought for sure Itali was about to get uh, killed, exiled, and then brought back, and then he would get to do Itali. Uh, I was actually wondering uh, how bad was it going to be when he brought my Itali in. <laughs> Uh, wait, what's in this? Oh, wow. <laughs> Tipping the fedora off oh, for a black four drop that ain't Shelly. You know what? Shit. I, I wish that I had mentioned it. Yes, absolutely. Tip the fedora. Oh, boy. What do I get rid of here, dude? That's awkward. That's fucking awkward. That's egregious. Two of our three mountains. I'm very unfortunate. At least it's not in a hand with tribute to the world tree, though, I guess. Kila greeters. I was going to say, if it's Jukai Naturalist, we'll use Tranquil Frill back to uh, kill it. Alright, I think we can probably obviously get the green here. 
Um, it would be nice if Itsquint could come in next turn, snipe their uh, Gila Greeters real fast. But I, I really like running Topiary Stomper alongside it for exactly this timing. It comes in first, secures the uh, four mana total. Oh, okay, so this can get the counter and go up to three. So that's a good attack. Yeah, we have to blast the Kami. I mean, we don't have to. But I like it. All right, no attacks, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe I fucked up there, but I, you know, I'm thinking it's the Kami, dude, right? It doesn't just add one mana to their capacity, but oh, oh gosh. Okay, this guy might have this. I mean, he's doing pretty all right there. Wow, what's good, Bar? How we doing? Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream, man. Yikes. All right, this guy's doing really nicely. I like this guy. All right, we, we got to get something incredible here. Um, I mean, that's not bad, right? I'll be using a, a tally next turn, hopefully. And we need something incredible off of it, though, you know? Um, let's go ahead and uh, pass the turn, or do I drop Tranquil Frail back just to have a better block on them? Yeah, pass turn. Alright, this is... Uh... Oh, brother. Yeah, I think it's his game at this point. Oh, wow, Botanical Brawler. Yeah, he's, he's killing it, man. Yeah, good game, dude. Trexodactyl, howdy, howdy, back at you, man. Welcome to the worst Magic Arena. Oh, hey, 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 I like this guy. All right, all right, I like this guy. Good shit, good shit, man. Very good. Fucking Sovereign there. All right, yeah, we're not blocking that one. All right, I mean, we'll see what we get, but it's his game, so we're going to need the most amazing thing in the universe. Tranquil Frillback, that's not it, dude. Jukai? Wow, um, no, it yikes. Major yikes, dude. Because that Botanical Brawler is going to be so big, honestly. Yeah, I'll just let him swing, but he, he's got this. I mean, we might have a chance here, right? Because, I mean, the Gale is going to be huge, but we chump it. Um, the Botanical Brawler will have to... Uh... Oh, he's not attacking? All right, he wants to double his shit. All right, yeah. All right, well, I mean, that gets killed. Wow, dude. Um, wow, dude. Is there anything that we can do here? Um... Can we get a really ridiculous attack on him? I don't even think so. I think we passed the turn. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, we would have needed another... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brawler grows off of that. Wow. Put the, put the counters on fucking Kami, right? Or the Caretaker itself. Oh, it's another target creature. Yeah, definitely on Kami. Yeah. Wow. I think he might not. I don't know. He's he's being a bitch. Um, he's taking him way too long. So we'll see. Yeah, I didn't have the uh, the mana there. Otherwise, I would have loved to flip a tally for you, Bar. Absolutely, man. Uh, we have to block um, a little bit here. Not too much, though. Um, let's see. So we, he has to take us down from ten if I block here. All right. So let's see. Um, I have to block a little more. Um, maybe the tranquil throwbacks, and not the topiary stompers. Um, so that's eight of the damage, but we're, uh, we're gonna, yeah, okay, that's good. Unfortunately, even if I flip a tally, he just chumps, he just kills a tally. I could chump him with a tally. Don't worry, we'll gain two life here. All right. All right. Uh, well, I think that's probably about it. We are nowhere near the uh, the numbers there, unfortunately. He's got some nice blocks. Right, he uh, destroys a tally there. Wow, good game to him there, man. Good game to him there. Oh, by the way, boys, just between you and me for right now, y'all remember that uh, we, we ran that, right? Um, some uh, 
some helpful commenter uh, said something that I uh, thought was really nice. I mean, I think we probably all noticed it, but Trample's pretty cool. Uh, the guy was uh, nice enough to suggest Kodama, but his suggestion actually gave me another idea besides Kodama. And we're, we're just going to leave it here, right? We're not going to talk about it too much. I, I want these helpful little insights to be buried in the middle of a stream so that, you know, my viewers get to them. Uh, with the most certainty, and also with the most certainty, other people don't get to them. Audacity, though, right? Because it gives plus two, plus zero, it gives trample, it gives cards, and it's super duper dumb cheap. There you go. So I, I think that might be a very interesting way to build that. Um, I guess I'm going to keep this one. I just, I don't want a mulligan. Um... All right, let's pray that we get a land that enters untapped, because if we do and we drop the Stomper, that's everything, man. Who would win in a fight, says Moonwatcher? An Eldrazi Titan... Oh, ooh, another tribute. Yikes, man. An, an Eldrazi Titan versus a party security guard that let a lot of people in. Wow. I mean, honestly, it might be the security guard, because the thing is, those Eldrazi Titans die to, like... Yeah, you know, like what, eleven squirrels? Right? I think we probably grab the green here. I saw this guy right before I started the stream when I was losing my last bits of rank in plat four. The Gala Power says Tana. Wow, yeah, you had a great a great one. What was it sixteen sixteen Gala Greeters? All right, yep, he gets his shot in there. Good shit. Good shit. We got to be blowing up Tovalar, though, right? We got to be blowing up Tovalar, yeah, so let's... Uh... No way that lives. Right, this thing powers up, so I'm not even going to use that as a blocker. I don't think I'd use that as a blocker either way, so get our, get our one damage in. In a court of law, the security says Richard... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Lord Lazy, hey, welcome to the worst Magic Rear stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming by. Moon watches. Ooh, at least fifteen squirrels. Oh shit, we gotta find the other four squirrels. Yeah, but 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 then we're good. And I think they breed at a decent clip. We should be all right. Oh no, we got whole. Okay, yeah, this game became actually real now. All right, yeah, Halan and Alina there. Oh brother. Um, and what am I doing? That? That's really bad. We can't block. Or, or I lose a uh, turn in terms of getting to a tally. Wow, the whole I think that's it, man. The whole alien is too good. Dude playing a starter deck on Platinum. Yeah, and he found the fucking bomb in the starter deck. Damn it. Okay, put the whole and Elena trigger counters on the reinforced Ronin. Oh, I was really hoping. Yeah. This is royally awful, boys. Royally awful. Now, I think that we can survive a turn here. Um, ooh, one, two, three, five. Okay, okay, okay. Get this down. Let's, uh... I think we're going to destroy this. Do we destroy that? Because it also saves us a creature next turn. Or in two turns, sorry. Saves the plus one, plus one counter here. It's either that or four life. I really can't tell. Oh, you know what? Yep. Thank, thank you. Oh, man. Would have been nice to uh, do that and gain the four life, not going to lie. So we have the block on his rune in there. All right, fine. We have the chump here. Oh, god damn it. And that deals me fucking damage. Oh, damn, man, that's it. Alright, good game. Wow. Shit, good game, dude. Very nice, Sam. Yeah. Oh, man, too bad. Right about there. <laughs> oh, man, good game. Good game, man. Shit. That Halana and Elena hit the spot, man. Oof, right after we dropped, uh, what was it called? Right after we dropped the uh, Trumpeting Carnosaur. On, on the Tovalar, which I, I think the trumpeting Carnosaur on the Tovalar was good, but damn. Too bad. 
Mm, using a starter deck to platinum? Question mark. I smell a YouTube vid. Says Richard. R.I.P. Says Lord Lazy. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, that was sad, man. That was sad. We we need like the it squint or something to blast that one, Elena. Nah, nah. Uh, no, <laughs> nah. Not at all. Yeah, Tana with the crying. Yeah, that was that was tough. Oof. And two mountains though. Two fucking mountains on this one. So I'm going to mulligan down to five, get a really nice keep five, and then leave because it's condescending, right? Every fucking time. I'm not, I'm not playing that. I'm not playing your fucking keep five hands. I, I, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's way too often a nice keep five. Also, did we notice that uh, I went down to the bottom of Platinum 3 twice in a row there in two games? That's annoying when I'm trying to derank. <laughs> Not keeping five, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I'm Mulligan. Uh... I have to. Can't let the fact that I just mulliganed a few times and it didn't work out cloud my judgment. Oh, yikes. I mean, it's not the worst hand in the world. If I was going first, yes. But oh, goddamn. Man, what's going on over here, man? I like the sleeves though. Check those out. Yeah, man, nice. Hey, big fat. I'm writing the script for an alchemy vid. You uh, good with me using some clips from that stream a good days ago when I uh, asked you about? It? Yeah, sure, man. Go for it. All right. I hope, hope I didn't say anything too nasty in there. But yeah, if I did, I hope it gets a rise out of the right people. I don't know if you hope that. Sorry, I do. I hope I was just nice, though. All right, keep six. Get rid of uh, Tranquil Throwback. I saw an oops over there. I, I think he's apologizing for taking forever. I had to guess. Really? Really? Is it because you have virtue? Very suspicious. Um, no attacks. I'm not losing my paleontologist to um, the virtue of loyalty. Which didn't happen. Shieldred. Okay. Ooh, okay. I mean, that's going to be good with the Hatcher. Um, I mean, we could blast his Shieldred. We really could blast his Shieldred, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. I, I, think we, uh, I think we showed him that we have a combat trick. I don't think he blocks there. Yeah, fair enough. Let's, I think we have to drop this. Maybe I should have not attacked, right? So I guess on the block, I could have uh, done the uh, Paleontologist plus Trumpet and Carnosaurus damage. Oh, that's going to draw him some cards there. I think w whenever he casts some big spells, possibly. All right, dude. All right. All right. Ah. <sighs> Edit it to make him say the worst things now. I want to wake up and see Big Fat on my local news, says Richard Dragon. Wow. Um, okay, yeah, they uh, kill tribute there. Oh, they're drawing a lot of cards and they're, while they're killing my... Oh, so you have all the three mana removal because of this guy. That's why you didn't hit me. 
earlier. Okay, he remembers that we tried to play a trick last turn. It's a vid talking about how badly Wizards set Alchemy up. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Go for it, man. I think that they, you know, they alienated fucking people like me, too. I think that goes into it. I, I don't want to touch it. Being shoved down my throat too hard. Uh, oh, God. All right, whatever. We have the Carnosaur. Really? Okay, dude. I think it's this guy's game. I mean, <laughs> that's what's happening here. All right, Urtai most likely blows up the uh, Carnosaur there. All right, I mean, we draw a nice one there. Um, wow, yeah, that's uh, that's okay. I don't think we're, uh, yeah, that's a pretty rotten game, honestly. That's wild. Oh, too bad there. Everything went wrong. I mean, well, I, I guess the paleontologist stayed on the field. That's actually a... That's actually really nice, to be honest. <laughs> Woo! Wasn't worth the wait there oh, at all. Hey, hey, a good keep seven, and we go first. All right, boys. All right. Feeling great. No tribute, but, I mean, you know, paleontologist, topiary stomper, and some nice payoff. Hey. Oh, not a mountain. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we don't have tribute in hand. I guess it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we should probably... Bl Do we blast that with the Carnosaur? Do I blast that with the Carnosaur, or do I further my board state? Because next turn I could have uh, the Carnosaur hit the field. I mean, that is pretty solid. Right, um, I don't want to block with the Paleontologist, so I'll get my attack in as soon as it actually registers. Okay. <clears throat> hey, if we uh, draw a roaming throne, I wouldn't mind that either. If we, we can trumpet in Carnosaur and discover into a roaming throne, that's pretty sweet. Although, you know, I like the Polani's Hatcher too. That'll give haste to a nice 7 6 on top of the egg tokens it makes. Oh, hello, Polani's Hatcher. Uh, but I think I want this because we could discover into a uh, into a mana dork here to help get a tally out next turn. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? Hey, it's the shittiest one, but it's probably not going to be removed with Carnosaur right next to it on the field. Ooh, is that maybe Ariette? All right. Uh, well, uh, this has Defender, and they prevent the damage, but we'll still block. That's good. Good block. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get a tally down, baby. It's a trap. I'll keep seven. Watch. Ooh. Watch. He just. Oh, oh, yikes. Oh, and I'm using that, too. Let's see. On enchantments and artifacts. Oh, suck the whole bag of dicks. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, you got to make each one come individually. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, oh, that's... Oof, yikes. Oh, God. We did that. Oh, everybody. Like this... Come on. Come on, man. That that wasn't bad. Oh, oh, yeah, now you have to. Wow. Let me finish the chat there. It's a trap. I'll keep seven. 
What? He just wants to raise your hopes. I think so. I think so. They fed off of. They feed off of crushed MTG dreams. It gives them power. Oh, Tana with the happiness there. Damn it! I have to wait one and a half seconds to press any key again. I swear I'm only a little drunk. Ooh, Lord Lazy, like that. Yeah, yo, we got the one-sided board wipe with his farewell. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 and the immediate concession. Wow, ooh, Richard with the trophy, goat tree. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Yeah, middle judge like that. Middle judge is my boy, but that was actually good. <laughs> Yikes, the one-sided board wipe was right there, man. <laughs> oh, yikes. He had enchantment creature, incubate token. He had the non-creature enchantment there. Oh, Oh, big fat MTG using farewell, says Tana. It's a new year. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, is that the first time I've used farewell? Shit. I mean, unless if I italiated it off of somebody else, I would imagine. It's Quint first. Yep. Big time it's Quint first. Also, uh, I wasn't even looking. I thought I dropped the uh, Rockfall Veil. That was my intention. My bad. I wasn't even fucking... <laughs> All right. Yeah, Rockfall Veil was obviously the superior land there, in case we draw a tribute. And that's exactly why it was it, Squint, and not the Paleontologist. Oh, wow. Land pass super fast. With, uh, with it waiting for him to use his, uh, interaction. All right, buddy. Good fucking God, man. You're actually roping. It's a topiary stomper. It's from Streets of Du Capena, bro. How long has it, has it been in standard? It's been in standard longer than any card has fucking ever been in standard. I, I guess except for the Innistrad ones. So, so it's a record holder. Wow, this is you know, it's impressive now. You must be really good to be taking this long to do nothing. You must be perfect. Wow. God, it's such a pleasure to face wow. Boys, look at how much we're learning here. Look at look at how much wow, he passed a end step. Oh, and now he's oh, what a fucking idiot. Wow, dude. Shieldred. Okay. Well, at least now I can see a reason for why it took him for fucking goddamn ever to do nothing there. Um, let's get this one down. He won't be able to uh, kill it right now. He'll he'll untap and kill it. <laughs> I mean, unless he has Edict, I guess. While I was deranking, I had a guy um, get screwed over by the ward, too. He hit it with um, Go for the Throat, but he had a total of three mana. Couldn't pay the ward. I hit him with Good Game, but then I left. I had a mission. All right, boys, we're praying really hard for that roaming throne. It's got to last two turns, man. Wow, this guy's so good. Wow. Switch over to the gray account so my phone is free. Very good. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. Oh, and he exiled cards. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, he's so good, and it took him so long, too. Boys. What an epic few minutes here, huh? First, we had the farewell. Dude, he, he exiled cards from his hand for that. Fucking yikes. Actually, yikes. For some reason, Project Zomboid made it so my keys would stick up. Sure, that's what it is, Richard. Oh, 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 hey, guy, I got to see what he exiled from his hand. Oh, boys, boys, oh, he, he actually did what I just said, like, exactly, just about, right? He, he, he was one away from the ward. 
casted his removal spell on it. Oh, okay, what did he exile? Oh, okay, he only exiled one thing from his hand, but still. That was a two for zero trade. Oh. Oh. Wow, God. And by the way, let's notice that it took him for goddamn ever to do every to do nothing every time. So, what a player! What a player! Wow. I had to change my settings. It worked, but now I can't spread my infinite wisdom. Oh gosh, that's truly a loss for the world. Yeah, I was gonna say, damn shit. I I feel I feel at a loss a little bit, man. And it sucked the sunshine out of my day. Shit. Wow. All right, a little bit of goodies in those last few minutes. All right, man. Uh, no. Where's my fucking mouse? This is Lord Lazy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You best find that. Oh, boy. Um, uh, uh... Uh, what do I do, man? I guess I get rid of Carnosaur. We are running a one of Bone Horde Dracosaur today. There's the proof. But I, I want, I want to do the Polani's Hatcher shit, man. Bone Horde is the, you know, it's the more responsible thing. It's better card advantage. Flyer, first striker to boot, better combat keywords, it covers flying, which otherwise I don't have anything. I don't think I even have reach in here. Uh, yep, keep six, get rid of you, and thank the good heavens that I didn't have to mulligan again, because I'm not keeping that fucking keep five hand. This game this game is comfortable in its belief that I'm going to keep my keep five hand. I know it gives me too many good keep five hands. I, mean, I got to stop taking those. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, that's green number three. All right. Carp pulls in forest and a little bit of prayer for the paleontologist, but okay. Two greens there, so I'm thinking it's not going to get bushwhacked yet. Hey, we even get the uh, block on Ginger Brute there, so they can't attack. Hey, nice, nice, nice. All right. Um, uh, 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 no attacks. Uh, yeah, I'll lose the life there to maybe block two things or prevent this. Right from attacking, so whatever. Whatever. And force them to need the one open mana for Ginger Brute, too. Alright, yeah, we lose that. It's annoying. But does that destroy a creature with flying, too? Ooh, it does destroy a creature with flying. Well... If they don't destroy Bone Horde Dracosaur here, then it was because they used that on Tribute to the World Tree, which was a good play. Hey, respects Tribute. Smart guy. Also, how'd that thing get that big? Ah, uh, Warx is one plus the number of foods you control. Okay, okay, very good. Very nice. I like it. Oh, but he didn't kill Bone Horde. Oof, yikes. Yikes, buddy. All right, yeah, I think we know what to do about that artifact creature there. Oh, it's... Oh, but it's going to cost me my fucking... Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. I'm just short of it. I want the Roaming Throne so bad. I, I want I want the Roaming Throne so bad for all the Italies. I'm sorry, boys. I, I have to be greedy. I'm sorry. I, I just want it so bad. I'm sorry. Um, Yeah, we'll attack. So, yeah, he gets another attack in here. I'm hoping that he can't come in for the W, right? I'll play Tranquil Frillback next turn. We'll destroy some artifacts. We'll gain a bunch of life. Yeah, we'll destroy that thing. All right, so we're going to destroy his Ginger Brute, and we're going to destroy that, and we'll gain four life twice. Yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling good here. I'm feeling good. We have any dinosaurs in here? Nah, just Tribute. All right. So I guess I can use that mana on... Uh, doesn't really matter. Just anything in there. All right, another turn with Bone Horde here, man. Yeah, we're, we're going to clean his clock here, boys. And we're going to be at 16 life. And he'll be at 10 after we swing with Bone Horde. What's it asking him to do? 
Oh, because his foods have that. Okay, okay. Um, yes. Just exile whatever in his graveyard. I like that one. Get that out of here. Alright. We get double Bone Horde here, so... Lonnie's Hatcher. Wow. Tribute to the effing world tree. Well, I want this one down. I mean, can we just win here with the Polani's Hatcher, honestly? I, I think we can win here with the Polani's Hatcher. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just pay with the treasures. Um, green, and then red. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just gonna have so fucking much here, right? He's already at 10, thanks to this, automatically. Alright, we're making so many tokens here. Two of them will be three threes. Two of them will be two threes. Yeah, so we're, we're looking all right. Ooh, it's Quint. What's good, buddy? Yeah, I think that's going to do it. Uh, okay, he gained some life. All right, all right. Okay. I, I may have miscalculated there, to be perfectly honest. Actually, I didn't calculate at all. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> that that deck's actually kind of cute, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that Ginger Brood activated ability um, that can't be blocked, that's actually really good under Agatha's Soul Cauldron. <clears throat> Unblockable, one mana. <laughs> Any of your creatures. Oh, yeah. Oh, good God. Yeah, I really wanted to blast him with the, uh, with the Tranquil Frill back there. And we would have, but, you know, I mean, the Bone Horde just got us such nice cards there. What are you going to do? Damn, man. I mean, we're taking this, right? We get uh, to go first with Ixali, Lorekeeper, into Topiary Stopper for, I think that's the first time tonight my favorite things to do here. Dockside Chef Sleeves. Very nice, man. Yeah, I got these. I don't remember when they were from, but i uh, fortunate enough to pick them up, too. Alright, Topiary Stomper. Grab the green, of course. I think we pay that off into what? Tribute plus Lure Keeper? I guess. Okay, what are we doing on one mana there? Okay, he hits the cut down, but we already got it to pay off with the Topiary Stomper there. Uh, ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, wait, I, I have the red. Okay, that's really awkward here. All right, so we have to drop this, drop this, and not the Lore Keeper. Okay, we, we had our, our turn of awkwardness then to complement his uh, awkward land opening. Exile a card from my hand. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Is it going to be this one or this? It's going to be this one. Oh, wow. Roaming Throne. Um, yeah, start with this. Call Dinosaur. Draw a beautiful card. Got a beautiful card. It's Quint. Hey, buddy. All right. Hey, if that Roaming Throne lives. Man, we got the Hatcher ready to go. All right, Death Touch there, but it's three toughness, so all of our little uh, three-power dinosaur tokens or whatever. Not to mention, I mean, we could have just blasted it with it, Squint. Hey, hey! Yeah! That's six, so um, that pays off into um, dropping it, Squint, and then activating its ability, or er, triggering its ability twice, which is really good. Uh, one, two... Eh, you know what? 
Yeah, what the fuck are you going to do about it? I'm not giving him the throne. He obviously blocks the throne. It's fucking no way. Alright, you know what? Yeah. Alright, so like, even if he drops... Yeah, Shieldred. Yeah, we're poor. Yeah, he's getting absolutely cucked by uh, Hitsquint here. He might just leave at the side of this one. I mean, we're, he's he's dead. Uh, call a dinosaur. Let's uh, do this nice. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Oh, wow. Absolutely devastating. That's the second double it's Quint tonight. You love, fucking love to see it. Okay, definitely an awkward game over there. But man, the double it squint, man, devastating. Using that five power from Polani's Hatcher, hit that Shieldred. Man, really nice that we hit that five power benchmark for that specific interaction there. Wow. Uh... Fine. Wish there was a little more early game stuff. Be real. Oh, says Richard, followed by W T. Up, oh, no, not that one, not that one. No, I, I wanted the Lord Keeper down first. It's better to get it down first. Goat, goat trophy. Yeah, that was pretty sweet, right, Richard? I mean, that that Itzquint guy is really cool, man. All right, let's get this one down. It would have been nice, especially up against the uh, green deck here, right, to go perfectly into Bone Horde for turn three, but, you know, oh well, the game didn't go perfect for us. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely get uh, Bone Horde, I think, over uh, Tribute. They are showing white there, so... Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Wonder if he's tired of seeing dinosaurs, too. Although, you know, I mean, they don't have the biggest you know, share in the uh, meta. People are playing them. Poor little feller. Poor little feller. That was just mean, big fat. I don't agree with the judges. Well, it's a good thing that you're not one of the judges, then. So I, I thought that was great. Yeah, middle, middle judge my boy like that. And I even got left judge? Or is that stage right, Judge? I can't tell. Oh. Big fat bully pouts Richard while me and my boys, the judges, are partying. Wow, we loved that one. That was the best. What do I do here, boys? Do I be greedy? I don't know, man. It, it's, it's really greedy. Fuck, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to take it. Okay, you know what? That's... All right, well... I'll be out the door quick with this one, then. Hey! All right. All right, man. That uh, that opens up the game. We can, we can do a little bit of contesting here. Oh, now they have caves and two reds there. So I know caves has that red board wipe, right? Damage possibly equal to the amount of caves you control or something like that. Uh, that one. Forgot that I had this account logged in on here, and I guess I'm staying on the same account very well. Also, guess where my mouse was after I spent 10 minutes looking for it? Uh, maybe it was in the last place you put it? Right edge of screen. Hey, Christian. What's good, baby girl? Welcome to the worst Magic Green stream. Very nice to have you. Uh, five, six, seven. All right, all right. Doing some math there, because it was Polani's Hatcher that turn and not Italian next turn. 
Um, versus, yeah, this, and then a tally next turn. I think we know which one I picked. Right, it'll also get us land number seven on the field for next turn. Let's see if they discover into that, uh... My laptop bag from a trip I took a month ago. Freaking okay. Oh, you mean mouse? Uh, Richard thought you meant the pointer. Bravo. Bravo. I have two mice. One I use for the desktop, okay, which is uh, busy. Yep, and uh, one I use for my laptops, which is the uh, one that was in. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, whoa. Is this a dinosaur? Is this a dinosaur? All right, I'm gonna go fucking a tally. Just wondering if I should hit him with the it squint there, man. Paleontologist, I don't really know about that. I don't think I'm gonna discard. I mean, we could discard maybe the it squint, but I don't even really like it. Uh, attack, definitely with the both of them. Let's see if we get the uh, the wipe here. Although I think that wipe that red caves had, I think it deals damage equal to the number of caves they have, right? So I'm seeing three caves. Okay, Carnosaur. Oh man, so I should have wrecked that with its Quint. All right, well. Wow. Okay, he's doing a little bit of comboing here, right? Now he gets to discover five, although that's only once per turn, right? Yeah, fortunately. All right, he gets a tally's favor. That's good shit. All right, I wish I had gotten his hit the mother load instead of this. Oh, we got roaming throne, though. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not enough to do Roaming Throne plus two. It's Quint's Ziz. Um, very sadly. Um, Dinosaur. I think we can still do the one It's Quint here. I want to nail his, um, Carnosaur, I think. Right? Because then I can actually swing in with a bunch of stuff here. Uh, boom. Right there. Right. So now we attack. Calamitous, yep, that's what I'm thinking of. Thank you, Lord Lazy. So, three and a red. Okay, okay, sorcery. X damage to each creature and each planeswalker where X is the number of caves plus the number... Ooh, plus the number of caves in the graveyard. Okay, okay. But Oh, but he's on discover, not caves. Okay, it just happens to happen around. I think that's lethal. Does he have lifelink in there? Ooh, oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, ooh, not cute. Oof. Yep, I think he's on Discover. Wow, I think we got kind of fortunate there. You know, he started popping off a little bit there, but, I mean, I don't know. Carnosaur wasn't too much. It was nice, but, it, you know. Freaking okay there, man. Freaking okay. Actually won a nice little contest there, though I appreciate that. You know, not just a, a stomp. No. Oh, man. Now I regret it. And the fuck you with the fuck you with the nice keep fives. It's a fucking waste. I mean, I don't even give a shit. I'm just gonna play another one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to. How about you use your obvious ability to give me nice hands when you want to, to give me a nice keep six, and I'll fucking keep conceding until you learn to do that. I'll keep giving people free coins. Re reducing their engagement with the game, making it less likely that they'll spend in the store because they'll be out of the game faster. That's what I'll keep doing. I'll, I'll hold you fucking hostage like that. Fucking do what I want. Okay.
Okay. Okay, tribute to the world tree while we have Polani's Hatcher in hand. Come on. Oh, it lives. Oh, we get the Stomper here. Oh, that's so good. Green, please. Took a long time to load. Inspiring Overseer. Okay. Do I want its squint down after that to actually get some damage in at them? I, I think it might be worth it to get a little bit of damage. We, we lose the fight there, though. But the thing is, I, I probably want to do Polani's Hatcher next turn, right? Um, instead of Itzquint. Um, and then the turn after that, um, it, it's likely that we'll have a tally by then. Again, we'll have a few draws from Hatcher. Hopefully we get a friendly land draw in there. So I think we'll just play it. Paragon A, and we have the four power to, uh, okay. Oh, and they attack with that instead of blocking with it and then reanimating it. Okay. Now I'll take that. All right, give me cards. Give me eggs. All right, but, like, I need a, I need a land now, though, right? You know what? It's Quint ain't bad. Uh, there. Yep, just that. Actually, the Itzquint there is, is pretty darn good. Blast and Sarah Paragon? Yeah. I think we're getting lucky that they don't have their Giada here. Wonder if we're going to see them leave. Ooh, our sunset is in the famous Bronco colors. Very nice, very nice, Richard. All right. Oh, what, what colors are in there? Bronco colors. Oh, 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 is that the the Denver Broncos? Oh, what colors are those? Blue. Is it blue and orange? Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, why did that add counters? Um, I think we're going to blast this with its quint. Or, wait, wait, wait. Do we blast this with its quint and then win? Yeah, we blast that and then win. Okay, I, I, we're good. We're, we're good. I honestly, I could have just dropped a hatcher, too. Uh, keep this one. Yeah. I was a little slow there. I should, should have sped that up. Should have seen what was happening already. He left. He left. With snow. It really popped. Oh, yeah. Against the nice uh, contrasting backdrop. Yeah, cool, man. Or foreground, I guess. Freaking okay. Woo! Yeah, I should have just dropped the hatcher there. Oh. Wasn't keeping track of his life. <laughs> Just keeping track of roaming thrones and Italis and Polanyi's hatchers. Because I know what I want to do. Blue, orange, and white after our sunsets. Very nice, very nice. Fine. It's keepable. It's not great. Needs tribute. Every hand does. I'm going to drop Polon or Intrepid Paleontologist here. Pays me off into perhaps it's Quint next turn. Perhaps holding their graveyard hostage. Should I see black there? We do see black there. Should have been it's Quint though. All right. Um, how are we doing this? Um, Ah, oh, man, too bad, too bad. Yeah, because that car just holds the uh, the graveyard deck hostage. Uh, ooh, we can blast that with it. Went, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good, and we have another one. God damn, I love running for this little booger. 
Yep, this has to pay to give itself Death Touch 2. Good, so they can't do that using its own mana that it produces. Good, good. Oh, but they draw... Okay. Land drop? Okay, good. It was either land drop or leave there, I'd imagine. See if that resolves. All right. I live on the good or god, I can't tell which one, side of the Rockies. We get the best sunsets. Oh, no mountains in the way. Very nice, very nice. Uh, what, 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 what? What, what, what? Oh, we can just do this, I think, right? Oh, yeah, I think we got this. Yeah, I mean, because we're also going to get another thing down here. Yeah. Oh, what, what was that, though? All right, that. Oh, interesting that you had all these creatures there. Okay, you must be casting really big instants and sorceries. Uh, so he's probably going to finish with what breach the multiverse. I would assume. I uh, wonder what blue and green ones are really big, but you know he has black there, and that. So I would say breach the multiverse is probably guaranteed in his deck there. Thunderous debut, maybe. It's a big green one. Although, what creatures would he be getting there? I don't really know. And kind of got me kind of curious there. Good God. Whatever. <laughs> Very well. Very well. Hits the same effect. All right, man. I, I want to just go a tally so hard, man, but I, it has to be against an opponent who thinks they have a chance. They don't just concede, man. This is a good hand. As a matter of fact, it's about as good as it can get. Lurekeeper Stomper. Yup. I mean, we're, we're slated for the turn three Polanyi's Hatcher. I'd rather get Tribute out before that, but something we could do. All right, we have the Paleontologist for after it's surely removed. Maybe get a replay. Phoenix Chick. Very well. Uh... <laughs> All right, well, it looks like he's lagging a little bit, man. I mean, it's not me, is it? Uh, my OBS is good. All right, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. All right, Stomper. We got enough red. Get a green. Never enough green. All right, thank you. That'll be all past turn. All right, hut. Hut. Yeah, that's a for that's a land. Yep, that's my forest. He's checking out my cosmetic styles. Oh, wow. Good taste. All right, but like I'm up here, buddy. Stop checking me out. Checking out Stomper, seeing if he has to uh, pay into Ginger Root. Okay, good boy. He can read, checks out, very good. Wow, witness protection. Okay, well, let's call Dinosaur. Since we're missing the Polanyi's Hatcher here, let's go with this one. Let's hold the thing untapped, because then he'll put an extra mana into Ginger Brute in order to get its attack through. I think that might mess up his tempo a little bit here early in the game. Instead of just getting him with one damage. Meaningless. I don't want to get this guy down to zero or negative one. 
I'm going to blast him out of the water. I don't care about one puny little damage. <laughs> Alright, buddy. And, and every second that you take is just... I want to blast you out of the water more, man. Come on. Don't 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 win this game. You're, ta you're taking too long for me to feel good with you winning this game. You're roping. And you should have roped multiple times already. Okay, another ginger brood, so... What's going on with your mana here? Wow, he light he witnessed protection that thing and then he lightning striked it. Whoa! Okay, buddy. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna spam the field, boys. And goddamn we want the land next turn. God damn we want the land. Uh, our honestly tribute's fine too. <laughs> Land activates the stompers, though. Drop another hatcher and just... Oh, boy. Party time. I, I hate this guy. I I think he's multitasking us. Really, really nice of him to let us, uh, let us wait for him until he feels like getting around to it. Appreciate that. Right? I don't think your client... I don't know. I don't know if you're lagging at this point. I don't know if you're... Yeah, yeah, you're here. Yeah, you're a douchebag. You just all tabbed back into the application from whatever you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, the land here is really good now. Especially losing the... Uh, Palan... Oh, oh. Oh, that's good. I would just pay the whole thing. Oh, wait. Exile your graveyard, and I gain five life. For, forgot who I had right. The life isn't targeted. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, that was a really good draw there. This guy sucks. Total aids. You sit there and wait until I'm ready for you. Just just wait for you. You sit there and wait for me. God damn, man. It's actually not even that difficult to be to not be a douchebag. Well, apparently it's harder for other people. Easier for some. Now you're going to attack and then immediately leave. Because how, how are you going to not take any of this damage? You need like three monstrous rages. You're not actually going to win, right? All right. There you go. Mage, I knew it. I knew it. Fucking scumbag. There you go. You, you're all welcome. You, you like that. Uh, he saw it. He definitely saw it there. Made sure to leave me on red. Come back when he was ready to, you know, to tend to the game. Do his thing and then immediately leave fucking scumbag. Ooh. Boys, if you haven't finished your uh, midweek magic event, um, the historic pauper thing... Um, you have a, only a few minutes, but I have a deck list in yesterday's stream's description. Um, it's Pauper, so it's all commons. So it's a red deck wins. Um, the good news with it is um, it, you can use it in uh, the probably the Pauper events too and do alright. Or the Artisan event and do alright. Maybe some other Pauper events, I don't really know. Maybe not, I guess. What What other pauper event would it be it would have to be another historic pauper but nevertheless it's decent in the uh, the artisan as well it's a lot better in the pauper one <laughs> in the artisan one <laughs> really all that fucking shitty artisan event is is a 
is a bone throw to historic players in the know so that they can smuggle their rares and mythics under the guise of being commons and uncommon cards with Xander's Wake and uh, some other ones. It's actually, it's actually, it, it could be such a cool format, but it's just such a bucket of fucking piss. He was so ashamed, he did the walk of shame twice. Ooh, Richard, like that one. Yeah, trophy and two goats. Let's go, baby. Um, okay, how am I dealing with that one, man? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I can't really tell. You know, I, I, sh I should have tapped the uh, lore keeper. This is okay, though, because um, we can use the Tranquil Frailback to exile their graveyard. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's uh, kind of alright. Let's uh, start with this. Wow, okay. Well, five damage. <clears throat> there we go. All basics over there. Uh, finally a duel. Oh, black. Wow, wow, wee wow, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Hey, if he has the brother's end or yeah, three damage wipe, that'll be real good. Okay, that was a weird game. So he was going to meld with Mishra? But, like, where were all the rest of his creatures so that he can, like, get a good creature count on the board so that when he uh, attacks and Mishra's on the field, right, he gains a lot of life and has us lose a lot of life, right? I guess not? Oh, dude, this hand. Look at that. You know, if, if, I, if I had the lore keeper, I would take that. No way. No way. I guess, me, you know, if I was going first, honestly, I'd be... I'd, I'm really curious. I think I've kept a triple stomper hand before, just out of curiosity. I'd do it again, hand again. But yeah, mulligan. Bye-bye. Take. Man, who do I get rid of, though? Maybe the roaming throw might be too much. Although, maybe it could also be get rid of one topiary. I don't know. It's, it's tough, man. Max topiary, says Lord Lazy. That was so much topiary. So much. Okay. Well, 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 okay. All right. It's Quint first. Oh, that's a tall pile of cards. You go, buddy. that a food token right 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 okay okay wow another one um <laughs> okay. All right. Maximum topiary. Uh, let's start by attacking. Okay. Let's grab a, tree, a uh, forest for tribute to the world tree purposes. People hating on mill when standard don't even mill? 
Are, are they hating on you in some game there? It, it's pro it's probably because of the squirming emergence, though. I, I think the popularity of that deck is going down a little bit, because, like, honestly, every time I was actually ready for it, it was a complete fucking stomp. It seems like it's just a check for Graveyard Hayden, and if you're good, like, god damn, the deck falls apart, man, because, like, it doesn't have too much removal, which maybe it shouldn't. It's trying to mill, you know. I guess mill has that descend blue and black card. I forget what it's called, but it's, it's decent removal. It has like three modes. One of them's discard a card. You send something back to it. It's pretty cool, you know, but I don't see a lot of them running it. I kicked the shit out of it. As a matter of fact, I completely fucking ruined their lives once I... Uh... <laughs> well, once I have the paleontologist on the field in this game. And the thing is, they, they, um, I don't know what to read into it, but I'm so fascinated by how, like, these reanimation players, like, they consistently try to reanimate into my paleontologist. And, and, okay, okay, I get it the first time, okay, you know, I, I get it. But they also consistently, repeatedly try to reanimate into paleontologists. I've had multiple people fucking try that multiple times. It's wild. Ah, talking about the huge decks. People hating on mill when standard don't even mill. I'll never mill this guy. Wow. Okay, my, I didn't put that together. Wow, okay, he's ready. He's fucking ready. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this one, and then hopefully we draw a um, land here, because I'd love nothing more than to get that one down too, man. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Brutal. Brutal. But, you know, draw the land here. Stomper. Um, if we don't draw the land, I think I'm still going to go Stomper, honestly, because, um, yeah, Bone Horde's good, but I wouldn't mind activating both of my Stompers on the field and swinging for eight Vigilance. Yeah, right, I would swing through this guy. Wow. So with all these gigantic piles that I've been facing recently, good gravy. Oh, Raging Bull, what up, big homie? Eh, hey, 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 what's good? Welcome to the worst Magic Grand Stream. Very nice to have you here, man. Wow, okay, he's dealing a little bit of damage here, though, man. I'm feeling really good about those Topiary Stompers having the Vigilance. All right, yeah, he's doing a pretty all right job. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We go, we go into Tally, boys. All right, man. There's only one choice there. Lore Keeper sucks, but, you know, at least it's a creature. Um, it'll be a 3-3, so it's halfway decent. Exile target card from a graveyard. Do you have anything in decent in your graveyard? No. I can use it to draw a card, though, so. The site. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get our nice little uh, attack in there. All of them? All of them? Even it's Quint? Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a shitty Itali, to be perfectly honest, but you know, this one draws us a card. Got a three power on the field. Thank you, Tribute, instead of a measly one. So that was actually a really shitty uh, Itali, but yeah, honestly, good thing we had Tribute. Still had to put, like, extra mana and shit, though. We didn't even have right now into that uh, card draw off of his artifact. But, you know, not bad. Could have been really good, I guess. Had anything worthwhile in the graveyard. <laughs> he didn't. The best part of that Itali was the 7-7 seven, seven creature. Man... Sid! Alright, um... Ah, uh, man. Oh, fine, dude. Fine, dude. I mean, it's it's keepable. Fine, dude. Freaking whatever. Alright, we'll go... It's Quint first. The, the, the same spiel. Ooh, a, okay. Okay, a second It's Quint is interesting. <clears throat> Wouldn't have minded a second dork there, maybe, <laughs> instead. I'm trying to get to that Itali, man. God, I can't stop running for Italis in my decks. 
Oh, Balonstro was good. No, Cankerbloom, WTF. Oh, I, we love Cankerbloom. We love Cankerbloom. Today's Cankerbloom is a dinosaur Cankerbloom. It's Tranquil Frillback, and I'm running three of them. Gosh, I love that card. Um, all right, let's start by attacking. Okay. Stomper! I'll go ahead and grab a green. Topiary Stomper's got to be up there with, like, my most used cards. It's got to be up there. That and fucking trivia. That might be the whole, the whole most used cards pantheon. Um, we're going to go Hatcher here. If they hit the three damage wipe, fine. We go dig it out with this, maybe. Are you gonna blast it with the lightning strike? Oh, let, let this let this next ability go on the stack. Come on, come on. If he kills Polani's Hatcher now. I'm left with the uh, zero ones for a little while. Fortunately, you know, the ability is on the stack, so even if he killed it there. All right, dude, at this point, like. what What's it going to be? I wish I could see his hand. I, I have to know. Maybe, maybe he's in a frustrating position. I don't know. He's really frustrating, wishes he could do something. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, wow. Okay, it's probably that. Wow. All basics, by the way. Oof, yikes. Not even a common duel. Hammer Skull. Fucking Hammer Skull, dude. Okay. Um, well. Let's get a solid attack in here. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, if I attack with this, what happens? He blocks it, he takes eight damage and doesn't die. <clears throat> I think we'll go ahead and uh, blast his hammer skull. Keep the untapped one, of course. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible. All right, we got the paleontologist on the field, too. That's mana number seven. He got another forest, but, I mean, we've got a tally coming in, so he needs to drop Bone Horde here. Or, I guess, you know, a wipe. Burn down the house. Okay, so he's playing with what he has. But still, man, a common duel might be alright. Crack and fetch lands from Capenna. Buddy, all basics. Oof. Yeah, poor poor guy. God bless him. Hey, he made it to platinum with this. Good for him, man. Good shit, honestly. You got a hammer skull there. I hope he has a few hammer skulls. That's a that's good shit. Especially with the belligerent yearling. You got yourself a freaking play there. Yeah, poor, that's that's not enough. Lore keeper, that's really shitty, but the bone horde, yeah, that'll that'll get the concede. Hasted too, so wow, old raging bull. I've been dreaming of a fling. Fight Club deck. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think, because about, like, a year whatever-ish ago, um, I played, um, Yargle and Multani, right, from March of the Machines, the, uh, the 18-6 creature, um, alongside Thrill Thrillseeker to fling it, 
But um, I'm trying to think if I ever ran a fight rigging variant because I was running some fight riggings uh, back then. I forget if I was doing that in fight rigging. Um, I know that I also was feeding Yargle and Multani to Zayatora. I might have done that once or twice. Um, that might have been fight rigging. I forget though. Oh shit, he might have forgotten the oh shit, the number one rule. Oh wow. Oh I better stop talking. Yo, oh man, dude, this this hand. If I was going first, I don't know. I don't even know, honestly, because it's kinda like clunking into turn four. Keep six, get rid of a tally. Way too far out. We don't even have any any dorks. Way too far out. Ooh, Callus Cell Sword. Yeah, that's a cool card. That's a freaking sweet card. Tana with the goats there. I think that might be for uh, Lord Lazy. All right, let's... Uh, um, uh, uh. Really want to pay off that paleontologist into its quint and a fight. Ah, oh, it gets abraded. All right. And a ginger brute. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I like the stopper. Um, Next turn, it'll get me a tranquil frill back that does what? Let's see. Destroys an artifact and, uh... Do I need to exile his graveyard? I think I'll just gain the life. To BH, I have no idea what that reference is. But I know it's in memes and it's funny. There you go. And, ooh, Richard says a... False electoral lies. Wow, I demand a recount. Wow, R rigged. I, di I didn't see that many judges vote goat for him. No way. There's no way that many judges voted for him. Three goats. Someone back the court. Crooked Hillary. These are George Soros's judges. Wow, dude, you're 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 doing great. His app must have crashed, man. He's he's not doing bad here. I wonder if he's is he like haste tribal or something? Is he gonna come out with that like that Agnes card or something? You know, like whenever you attack with a creature with haste, you make a treasure token. Is that from like Streets of Dukapena or something? Wow, dude. Wow, that's 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 blue white player stuff, buddy. Be better. Oh no, dude. What are you doing? He Bro, it, it the alcohol just hit him. Oh wow. Are you are you playing? Okay, he's playing. Is he watching the stream? Does he like know who I am? Is he just like watching the stream for attention? I I wouldn't Oh, does he not know it? Topiary Stomper? does bro i'll have what he's having you didn't want to do that before combat well tranquil frillback's going to kill a new artifact this guy's insane Uh, do I have a Carpelson Forest? Yeah, let's tap that one too. All right, now we're good. Ah, Mr. Soros, support Israel. Biden won an election. And quick, blame a rich Jew. Hey, sounds good. Uh, let's destroy, let's gain. We'll destroy that one, because that's going to get way out of control. Especially on unblockable Gingerbrute. No, thank you. 
No, thank you. All right, dude. Are you going to make your ginger brood into, um, unblockable? Are you going to sacrifice it and gain three life? He's back. All right, he's playing the game. I saw that. He got his land down in a reasonable amount of time. I like this guy. Never mind. I don't like him. He's so weird. What are you doing? I like the sleeves, though. I think that's Arcbow Ranger alt art. No, Monster Advocate. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. It explores, and then it explores against... Okay, so he is Haste Tribal. Okay. Okay. Pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dinosaur. Um. Okay. Okay. Am I? Am I getting him? With how am I doing this? Because we could fuck him up, boys. Um. Maybe roaming throne, because then I can block salmon and shit. Because I, I want to fuck him up with it, Squint next turn. I really do. I, I want to piss on him, because like he he been taking forever, man. I gotta I gotta flex how fucking great I am on this guy. Uh, do we attack there? Uh, no attack. I want the extra blocker for Salmon. All right, all right, all right. We, we good. I, it's going to come in, man. We got the six mana for the uh, two plus two plus two. Double, double triggering. Feeling good. We got Topiary Stomper there to use that thing's power to uh, probably decent effect there. I see a three, three, three toughnesses around, so... Roaming Throne 2. It is a dinosaur, so it's going to can use its power. Well, Tranquil Frillback will get the job done, so I'm feeling really good now. Yeah, this guy is... Uh... God damn, man. Got a lot of not creatures in a <laughs> deck with Salmon. All right. All right. Well, he's not drawing a card off of that. Didn't enter this turn. So, uh... And that's good for us. He ain't drawing cards, man. At least not yet. Maybe he'll hit a Devastator, a nice Song of Toten Tons, which draw him a lot of cards. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blast his ass. I'm gonna kill his Ginger Brute just so that it stops fucking stalling the game. Thank you. Isn't that isn't that better, everybody? That's much better. You're all welcome. Oh wait, now he can stall the game here. Huh? He got he had a fail safe. Smart man. Oh, good block. Um, interestingly, since we have roaming throne here, um, and the land becomes a dinosaur, it can give two other attacking creatures plus two plus zero and untap them. Oh, brother. Can you attack, though? Can you? Can you? You're top decking. You, you don't have lethal. You can't even put the three man into this. I don't... Yeah. Oh, oh good. Let's see how fast he concedes. Been taking forever to do everything. Yep, storm the seed core. Yep. One, two, three, four. Or however I don't care. Just do it. Just do it. We're gonna Oh fuck 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 my bad. I I didn't mean to keep that one, sorry. <laughs> alright, 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 this is good. Oh stop. Stop, man. Stop. Oh, there it is. That is what we wanted. Staggering size? Sure. How about uh, on that, right? Because Italia already has trample. That gives trample, so spread the love. 
And by the way, we need another Itali here. All right, boys. I think we got there. Fucking okay. You know why we got there? Because we killed this ginger brute, so we couldn't keep stalling the goddamn game. Oh, hey! He didn't rope for that. Wow, low bar we had for that guy, huh? Well, I had. For <laughs> wow, that took a little longer than it needed to. That was an awesome end. Great little bit of a tally there. Got into the Polani's Hatcher. That's what I wanted. The only thing better than doing that is going a tally into the uh, Trumpeting Carnosaur and then discovering into the Italian's Hatcher. Oh, Polani's whatever. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's one of my favorite things to do in Standard here, as you guys can probably tell from the fact that I try to play this dinosaur deck, I would say, twice per week. Or some dinosaur deck twice per week. I, I honestly wasn't too thrilled with the one where we did a bunch of um, pugnacious hammer skulls, you know, the lower to the ground one, largely curving out with the four bone hordes and then one Itali. I It was good, you know, we got our Ws, but it's just not stupid enough, you know, it's, it's too sensible. Hey, C-Note Scout, good boy. Oh, whoa, okay, 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 that makes sense. Now, I saw that MTG Malone made a uh, Sovereign video. I wonder if anybody else did, or... Because, like, the day of and the day after, and I didn't see anybody really playing it. It was, like, three, four days ago, and that's why I'm wondering. I'm seeing it resurge today. Maybe... maybe. It was starting to surge yesterday, and I missed it. I don't know. Um, do I get this one down? Yeah. But he put it in his graveyard. That means he has another one. Siege veteran. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, I'll definitely block that one. Is that thing a soldier? Is it going to... Uh... No, it's not a soldier. Okay, thank goodness. Um, this. Stomper. We, we do need something, like, really good, though. Oh, okay, okay. This gives him an exile. It's expensive, but he gets it. It's a good hit there. Good hit. Okay, okay. Get this one down. This one down on dinosaurs. Uh, it sucks because we're taking a bit of damage next turn. Ah, oh, man, they're going to tax a tally. Well, that's brutal. So we'll need to draw something that can help get us there. Um, another stomper would be okay. We do have the roaming throne down. Polani's Hatcher might be the best one, because even Bone Horde's going to have trouble here. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, so we probably won't be able to use its Quint on his creatures, or he'll sacrifice that. Oh, brother. Um, something mildly interesting. I guess we will do this, right? Because we do get the doubled um, usage out of it here. So, I mean, that's not the worst thing in the whole entire universe. <laughs> But yeah, this this pretty bad. <sighs> really need the stomper there so we could get to uh, seven lands on the field. <laughs> A 
just short of lethal here. I wonder if he can pull it off. Wow, yeah, I think he has it. Oh, well, no, he doesn't, but I mean, he gets rid of that, so that's really good. Or we're pretty much going to need to get an Itali here, and then go perfect with the uh, Itali um, cast here. I would assume we get a land. <laughs> Alright, it's got to be perfect. We got a fucking land. Do we have lethal here, though? We're, we're close. I don't think that we do have it, right? I think we're just short here. I mean, I guess I could have not done that. I I guess in order to really live, I could have um, held that back on defense, right? But yeah, that's it. Uh, good game. You're, uh... All right. You're going to attack. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Yep. There you go. Ah, oh, man. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Played a nice game there. Man, I'm surprised he um explored away the Sovereign when he had the Siege Veteran in his hand. Nicely played game. Shocked we didn't see it. Maybe he just didn't have the mana to pay for it at that point. It seems like it would have been perfect for him there. Oh, I see Rodney Dangerfield in chat there. Yeah, man. Rodney ain't no respect. None at all, I tell you. I lo love that shit about the doctor when he gave birth and turned around and slapped his mother. Oh, God. Rodney Dangerfield, man. Shit's great. I like watching him. He, he adjusts the shit out of his tie. And can't stop adjusting his tie. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let's get, uh... I mean, we got all the greens locked up. I guess we can grab a red here. The rare instance. Grab an early game red. A stomper. I think we got a good reason here. I mean, we're lined up for Polani's Hatcher. What was that do? Okay, yeah, we we are lined up for Polani's Hatcher, but but when I draw a tribute with Polani's Hatcher in my hand, you know, you know. Now, what what's going on here? When it's put into a graveyard, you can pay one. If you do scry one, then draw a card. Ooh, so maybe I want to kill this when they're tapped out, if possible. I mean, if they tap out here, I'm still hitting Polani Tatcher. Fucking okay, geek. Yeah, Hatcher now, and then hopefully we can hit a Carnosaur next turn. Haste it in, right? That's pretty good. Same impersonation voice as Bernie Sanders, to be honest. Yeah, they do sound very similar, yeah. Alright, Geek, you're gonna sit here and do butt-fucking-nothing like that? Nice interaction, Jeff! Alright, hey! Ooh, another Stomper. That puts land number 7 on the field. I mean, that's not horrible, right? Uh, next turn, we uh, unseal, unlock, whatever, that Stomper. That's not bad. Uh, I will attack with everything, yeah, of course, including the zero. Arena economy is so ass. Agreed, man. So it, 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 the thing is, though, it's with the new formats they're putting in, you know? It, and the significance of saying that is like, that's more wild cards to spend. More time to invest in the game, more wild cards to spend, and not even the... the uh, I guess there was golden packs, but golden packs came after, you know, there were no... Um, in, or there were no improvements to the economy since the game was only standard, you know? And then, you know, what, what was that? It Explorer, Historic, uh, Alchemy, right? St 
brawl. I don't remember if it was exp um, standard and or historic brawl, both, whatever. But like then, golden packs came after that, you know. And now there's timeless. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this. Good hand. Right, if they're if they're gonna put out new formats, a good way to get me to maybe even attempt those formats, you know, a little bit of help in the economy. Maybe instead of those fucking piss awful deals on uh, packs. And by the reason I call them that, I'm right now in the store. Maybe it was yesterday. You know, they're usually giving 15% off packs. The thing is, the packs that they're offering 15% off on, they don't pay into golden packs. So, like, are you really saving 15%? Maybe if you really need that set, you know? But, like, otherwise, you know, you're kind of getting shafted there. Oh, yeah, but still bullshit? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it, it's a modern gaming economy, yeah. Even, even without that, yep. Yeah. Alright, that's three whites and nothing in a row. Okay. Did that for uh, seven lands next turn. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not extending further. I don't think. Yeah, these guys aren't even tapping. A ganjo. Now I'll put something else on the field. Wow, no, uh, no tribute, no Atali here, unfortunately. Um, end turn. Hey, don't feel bad for him. At all. Also, I, I think his spell had a kicker on it. Ah, a kicker of blue. Oof. There you go. I think I think we know what this person is. I think I think not seen here is the island. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your perspective. Ah, thanks for letting me know about the pack deal. Yeah, definitely. I and spread that too, right? Because with um when you're paying those packs into golden packs, you're getting like plus sixty percent benefit on the pack, right? Because it's it's paying for you know what whatever percentage one tenth of the golden pack, which is uh not only the six rares and mythics, but it's actually also another tick on your rare wild card wheel, right? Whereas a fifteen percent discounting close to that. Got him. Got him, Chucks is all raging bull. Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you, boys, with the nice there. Yeah, not much of a game there, but uh, against blue-white, great, great. That's the best game. It, it was over in a reasonable amount of time, and I enjoyed it. Shit. I didn't really enjoy the magic aspect of it. I enjoyed fucking him sitting there doing nothing. Which is enjoyment out of a game with a blue-white player. Alt-win condition achieved. I don't give a shit. I like the sleeves there. Very nice. Very partial to purple myself. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Let's uh do we get I guess, I guess we get the paleontologist now. I don't I think that there's something to be said for not even playing it there, especially since like, you know, we're not up against red and we need to put that down to like soak up a play with fire, lightning strike whatever, you know. We do have the topiary stompers. It comes in after them, but mm. The same time helps us into Bone Horde the turn uh, after this Stomper, right? So I don't know. I'm always second guessing, man. Not attacking through that, so like, I I probably should have manually hit the forest there, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not blocking that shit. <laughs> okay. Up, oh, yep, yep. Went put into the battlefield. Okay, it's part of that cycle. Very cool. All right. All right. What's it going to be, Halo of Ash? I like, I like this. Tokens? Maybe, maybe Virtue? Who knows? Yep, he checks Topiary Stomper. Yep, I can't use it. Very good, sir. Um, I, 
I mean, this is pretty ballsy. I'm honestly going to go with this one right now. Oh, a lore keeper. Yuck. Yeah, that was that was horrible. <laughs> wow, Italian and Carnosauring really hard into lore keepers. Oh we okay, um All right, let's see if he just gets a uh, real cathard on that bone horde Dracosaur there. And go look and be surprised at what rares and mythics I have in your collection. Hey, good luck. Have fun. Auto Tapper prefers missing lethal than paying the one life. That auto, it'll get you some. Oh, wow, he doesn't kill Bone Horde. And he doesn't attack with Miro because we block it. Oh. Oh. Calling Dinosaur there. I don't know if we need the Frill back down. I think it's some big lands here right fast. One moment, please. Hey, I have one Dusk Legion. Okay, hey. Better than zero Dusk Legions. I think the uh, the one you mocked up called for two Dusk Legions, right? For Bant Super Friends. That's pretty pretty good. Uh, let's get the red there. Oh, shit. I should have gotten the T-Rex one. Should have flexed on him. All right. He said good game. We'll, uh, we'll see about that. I think we can probably make him uh, concede here, honestly, just by casting the Topiary Stomper and threatening to uh, make him wait here again, unfortunately. Let's see. Hey, he's saying good game twice, but he ain't leave yet, so... The thing is, even if he wipes the board, like, congratulations, you know, I have my man land on the field, right, so... I'm thinking he hits the Sunfall here and then forgets that we have the Man Land on the field. Yeah, because he said good game twice, but he didn't concede after that, too. Had to load up my library twice to take the forever to put the lands on the field. Okay. I mean, they get a lot of soldiers, right, because of this thing. They're going to be pretty nicely sized. All right, well, I'd say that's uh, probably it. Let's go ahead and just mash the space bar, right, because it's going to take a long, long time. Yeah, I can't believe you even... Wow, you, you stayed around to do that? Aw. I think he stayed around to show me his cute play. Oh, good, good for you, Halo of Ash. Good job, man. All right, let me let me take this uh, challenge here. Let's see who who is it, William. Oh, I hope we can actually connect if it's you, William, or whoever it is. You, oh Lord, Lazy has a vindicator. You, he says. All right, let's see who who do we got here. Who do we got here? Oh, all right, let's go. Oh, freaking raging! Well, I think that's you. Um, all right. Let's get this challenge in here. By the way, if anybody else wants to uh, challenge me, I'm more than happy to uh, take it. Always am. I just usually forget to say it. Um, <laughs> that's why I made it my channel banner, <laughs> so that it could remember to say it for me. But uh, uh, I'll pull it up in a second into... Uh, oh, let me write it in chat. I have it memorized. If anybody's interested, you can go ahead and paste that. Make sure you use the... Uh, five digits after the uh, hash symbol there. You can go ahead and add me. Wow, what a joy for you. Um, oh, man, that that's so weird. That's so weird. I'm going to take it, but it's so weird. Whatever, dude. He can kick my ass. Good for him. Um, all right, let's do uh, this. This. If we get the land, though, we're good. We're, we're really feeling happy about that. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, all right. All right, this ain't this ain't good, boys. Yeah, that. Oof, that's all right. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll be happy 
for all raging bull then. Ooh, deep cavern bats. Okay, okay, enjoy. I, I wonder what's the best for him here. Arguably trumpeting Carnosaur because, yeah, I can discard it to blow up the bat. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank the good fucking heavens. All right, we do him a little bit of a favor there. You know, I should have attacked with the Lore Keeper, because I'm sure as hell not going to block with it. And if he blocks with his Deep Cavern Bat, you know, like, okay. Uh, who thought that making the uh, Timeless Dragon the mascot of Timeless was a good idea? They, I think they made that the mascot of Timeless because fucking nobody's going to use it. And <laughs> they gave away a useless card. <laughs> I, I'm not grateful that they gave me something that they know I'm not going to fucking use. <laughs> not going to say thank you just because you gave me something you know is fucking useless. I think I'm a bit behind chat. I don't even know where to start keeping up. Talking about highways, talking about... Ad oh my god, I missed so much. Okay, I'm sorry, boys. I missed so much chat. Um, I'm going to do better. Um, let's block here. Um, yeah, I think that's it for right now. now we, we need to spam the hatchers. You know what? Honestly, fine. Although, should I have killed the Blood Tithe Harvester there? Because now it can sacrifice to uh, destroy its Quinth. Although, you know, that, that still takes it off the field. We're desperate, boys. We're desperate. Wow, okay. I mean, this is creating some nice tension, I'll be real. But, like, okay, wow. Wow, he got Schism. That's really good. He's got decent damage in the air. Oh, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. You kidding me? Kidding me? I have to take all this damage? That, that's horrifying, dude. Now I get... Okay. Wow, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, good game. He has, he has too many blockers. He has five one ones at this point, so I block the biggest one and take exactly lethal. <laughs> Fucking God. Woo! Good game, man. Good game. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Good game. Ooh, you got three Ackle Pacals? Is that Enem Pacal or is it Ackle? I, I forget. I, I think there might be other ones very similarly named, so maybe it's Ackle. I don't freaking know. Luris Bobble is actually okay, but... Oh, right, because Luris lets you play things from the graveyard. Okay, okay. Then done so much, I'm just bored. Oh, okay, okay. Woo! Uh, ooh, um, shit. Thanks for the match, homie. Oh, yeah, absolutely, old Raging Bull. Good game back at you, man. Thank you. Um, uh, uh. Fine. Fine. I'm, I'm just going to pray for it. I don't care. I know where the conceit button is. Yeah, I get some of those in as we approach 9 o'clock. Okay, okay. Pretty good there. GG's all. Absolutely. I second that. Ooh, Lord Lazy has some haughty gins. Ooh, yuck. <laughs> uh, do I get this one down? Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna, we're gonna be greedy, right? Right. Topiary Stomper gets land number four on the field. We.
if my uh, audio cut out there, if my bad, it, I stopped hearing sound in my headsets. So usually that means the, that buzzing started. I hope it didn't. Fight raking. Oh. Oh, I got some food for my frill back here. Don't die. Um, uh, um. All right, yeah, let's just get, uh, let's get the most out of frill back here. So, uh, boom, boom. Let's, uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we don't get to see that card. Yeah, exiled face down. Ooh, Tishana's Tidebender. That's pretty sweet. That's a pretty cool card, honestly. Oh, he didn't get to show off his secret tech. Ooh, maybe that's for the better. Maybe that's for the better. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, uh... Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me get to that chat right fast. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack. Boom, boom. Oh, he just takes it. Okay, I like this guy. Didn't get to show off my secret tech. Okay, um, fanatical offering for that gas when I run dry. Okay, okay. Plus Shelly. Okay, okay. Put me in the corner with that mess. Dunce cap and all. Wow. Um, okay, okay, okay. We, we gotta be blasting him, right? We, maybe we gotta be loading up the field with these shits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can attack with the three power token. Right, and next turn we'll have another one to boot. Everything but you. Fine. Get this down. Just for an extra mana capacity. Okay, he gets a tally. He got my roaming throne. I wish he got my Ixali's lore keeper like I've been getting all night. Can we win here though? He has three blockers. Can I get four creatures in at him here? Is it possible? Can I get four creatures in at him? Um hang on, hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough to do this plus... Oh, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, that's enough to do Hatcher and its Quint and activate or trigger it. Uh, let's kill this one, I guess, because the only blocker that I can kill, right? Not that one. So now they have two blockers, right? Yeah, I think we got that. Right, they just block the five powers, right? And then they obviously take lethal. Wow. Alright, we won a bit of a contest there. That was a that was a pretty alright one. Happened fast, but that was a contest. Alright, alright, alright. Thank God he didn't chain a tallies. Uh, he's casting a tallies, we have a tally. As a matter of fact, he is the opponent who <laughs> Who I'd like to face in order to chain all those Italies. Inquisition of Kozilek quadruple. A, a lot of hot Dijins plus Mentor these days. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a couple of people come out with that blue-white uh, tempo, whatever, deck. Yes, yes, yes. The best laid plans of bulls and men, my friend, says Richard. Tarion's Journal. Ooh, you have some of those, Lord Lazy? Yeah, it's an interesting card. Still haven't used it yet, but I do like it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that, that type of hand really tests me. Tips Fedora? Love tipping my fedora, baby. Got Lord Shitters. Okay, right. Uh, right. Be shielded. The ring exists, of course. Of course. Whoa, whoa. I mean, man, 
man, all right. So on the other side of the game, when I was taking that, uh, oh, I really wanted to keep that keep seven hand, but <laughs> when I was making a responsible decision, our opponent over there was, uh, <laughs> he kept the one lander and prayed, man. Wow. Wow. Oh, Tannis had a nice one of those games in there. It probably was uh, two games ago at this point. Yup, yup, thank you, thank you, because that one was a really fast one there. Oh, Richard wants to know, is it Old Raging Bull or Ole Raging Bull? Wow, I respectfully, ooh, respectfully, must know. The end, Quintuple, oh, you got a whole bunch of them. Ooh, yikes, you got the playset of them. The dark side is calling, man. Oh, fine, okay, you know what? I'll clunk into turn three going second once tonight, okay? Fine, fine. Lich Knights, yup, yup. I remember you had a Lich Knights deck. Cool, okay. You have some Godricks, okay, okay. Hey, that can go into a red deck wins and get you some uh, freaking dailies a little faster. That's actually pretty good shit for you. <laughs> I think we're just going to sit here and do nothing all game. Fair enough. I need the. Uh, I need the. Con oh, okay. Now I okay. Well, I guess we do tribute lore keeper next turn, or do I do roaming throne and then pray to do uh, like a double topiary stuff, or maybe maybe that's the way to go. Double strike and first strike. Yeah, we're going to do a whole lot of nothing this game, aren't we? Alright, let's do uh, this guy. On dinosaurs. Land number five isn't terrible. If we even survive this coming turn, a topiary stumper could put land six and seven on the field. I think we're going to have to probably block with our throne, though. Well, I dirtled into turn three against the wrong person. I was hoping with a roll of the dice we could go against the slower opponent. It doesn't look like he was too slow here. All right. Well, um, I'll uh, I'll block uh, the shittiest one. I'll block uh, eh, I'll block this one. I guess I'll block the best one, excuse me. Alright, you know what? That's actually not terrible here, because I think we can do Tribute into Stomper here. Although, maybe I should have just done more Stompers. Gotten more creatures on the field. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting that right now. Yeah, sort of regretting that. <laughs> All right, whatever. We uh we get to attack. Uh, not with you. Whoa, not with you. Three hardened scales. Interesting. Okay, that could be from Wilds of Eldraine. All right. All right, bonus sheet. A tribute. Let's go. I think so far I've had two of each virtue. Very good. Very good. Especially, I think the white one's pretty good. Black one is played a lot. I like the green one, but I hardly ever see it. But I do like it. Just finished watching the replay of our game. Oh, <laughs> Rita could have given you the damn land, bro. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't always happen. I think you should just mash his space bar here, man. Yeah, just mash your space bar. You're doing great, dude. You're doing great. Uh, let's block here. All right, yeah, not a lot uh, happening in this game, I don't think. All right, let's do uh, this one. This one. I don't think we have enough uh, attack or er, blockers, though. I, I right. Yeah, they have 
two more attackers than we have blockers. So we'll see if they notice, but I mean, even if they don't notice, like, what are we going to do? It would have to be a full-on Atali. Right, because we do have Roaming Throne. Do you not notice? Okay, maybe he's casting his spells for his dailies, alright. Preemptive douchebag, good game. Yep, there you go. I don't know, though. But I, I wish we could observe two different universes at once, you know? One where I win and one where I lose, and just, just check for the good games, because they'll always say that they'd say it when they, uh, when they lost, but they don't. Every preemptive douchebag good gamer does not say it nearly as often and nearly as enthusiastically when they won, no matter how much they lie. Every single one of them. <laughs> Sure, yeah, yeah, it's not a bad hand. Lands are all right, and there's two of them. A little awkward, but we got the Paleontologist. Well, if only we had Lore Keeper here. That would be great, man. Turn two Stomper would be so good, but you know what? Maybe we can pay off the Paleontologist into uh, drawing the next land and getting the Roaming Throne down. That would be really good. I say you name old Raging Bull over. Wait, wait, wow! I I just forgot how to read reading that. What the hell? Oh well, you're talking to him, all right? Actually, wait a minute. I only got one persistence. Fair enough. Fair enough. But you could be Spanish-ish. Well, like George Santos was Jew-ish. Okay. And no red one. That's fine. Didn't realize I was at the end of the list. There's so much red and gold right now. Oh, great. <laughs> Great! Stomper! Get the green right fast! So hopefully, uh, Niz Contel there, whatever, doesn't get past four toughness, because I would love to blast it with its win. Ooh, okay, I... Come on, come on. Wait, what? Okay. Okay. So that thing's going to max out at four, right? Hopefully. Okay, thank goodness. He has another explorer on top. He's doing nice with his explorers here. Good, good shit, but fortunately we get to put a stop to this madness. Well, a, a temporary halt. What exactly is this? Whenever this creature attacks, ex it explores? Yeah, I'll leave it untapped, because uh, he could put that on C-Note Scout. Now he has to put that on the flyer, which I mean, maybe I guess is okay. I guess everyone else is rushing to Platinum before the end of the season. It's about the time to start getting serious. Get that rank up, yeah, last third of the month. Alright, I'm taking heavy damage here. I'm fucking sitting with these three lands and it's killing me. It might have already killed me, even though I'm happy with that. Um, do, I guess we play the other Itzquint and blast this, right? I mean, we could try to be a little greedy and maybe go um, Roaming Throne plus um, Ixali's Lorekeeper and then get a like a double Itzquint next turn. It's so greedy. I, I, I'm sorry, I think I want to do it. It, it. I'm sorry. It, that sort of shit just makes me happy. Um, dinosaur... Yes! Thank you! Alright, you know what? I will attack. Get my two whole entire damage. Alright, good. No more perfect game for this guy. He got a... a okay, that's pretty cool. Well, we're trying to blast two things with uh, four power apiece. Nice double Itzquint here. That'll be the third double Itzquint we popped off uh, tonight. That's actually solid. Just have to remember to tap Lore Keeper for the mana cost there. They're not going to be able to kill Roaming Throne now. Can't pay the ward too. I'm feeling great. Come on, just just don't like explore the shit out of your creatures here, man. Come on. 
Come on, don't do it. God, dude. That's really annoying. Alright, I should have blasted it last turn then. Fair enough. Can we still do a uh, tribute and then blast it? No, I, I have to double it squint blast it, I think. Yeah, we gotta do it. Right? Yeah, because it's probably gonna kill us next turn because it explores when it attacks. So, uh, green. And, uh, you. Sadly, you have to go down. I'll just keep that one, doesn't really matter. Okay, we will uh, pay two. We will have you deal there. Pay two. You there. Okay, we will go ahead and not attack. I mean, now we can, you know, use our legend ruled it squints to, uh, you know, paleontologist them have the graveyard. Cast him again. I really want the paleontologist on the field before I do that, though. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Um, I gotta block that. So, here... I mean, do we get a huge block on that? Because it takes that thing off of the field. Am I going to be able to kill that next turn? Let me, let me hit the thinking here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Nah, I'm not going to be able to, honestly. I think I'm going to big kill it right there. Yeah, I think they'll kill the Roaming Throne and probably a Twinth. I guess if they're smart, they'll kill the Roaming Throne and Paleontologist, though. Yeah, good play. All right. Yeah, I think that had to be done. Uh, Freakasaur pass. Wow, pretty solid Dracosaur draw there. It's our one of here. I mean, once again, this isn't a smart people deck, you know. Uh, it, it's got flying covered, first strike, whereas I don't think that appears anywhere else in the deck. So the, the flying is especially so important. Oh, this can't be blocked. Oh, god damn it, dude. That's too bad, man. We got fucking screwed at the beginning of this game. That's too bad. I would have liked to compete a little bit more. Ah, uh, man. All right. Maybe we can get something incredible here. And the Carnosaur is not horrible, but I think the game is already over, right? Um, I mean, I guess we could uh, double destroy this one, right? Um, with the Trumpeting Carnosaurs here. Oh, wait. I can't discard this one from my hand. Uh, that's a huge problem. Uh, 1, that's 12, that is 15. Uh, that's not even fucking lethal. <laughs> that's not even fucking lethal, dude. Five lands this late in the game? Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's horrifying. There's no way he can't explore, right? Yeah, at the beginning of your combat, Deep Fathom explores. Whenever a creature you control explores. Yeah, so good game. Oh man, too bad, too bad, too bad there, man. Yeah, he's a, he's unblockable. Are you done? There you go. Good boy, good boy. Oh, brutal, 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 brutal there. Oh man, the early game very rough, unfortunately. Well, he looked at it. We, we turned it around, honestly, but we, it was just it was too little, too late. We we're about a turn behind at that point. It was his game. Couldn't even find a spot to get tribute down. I mean, that was pretty bad. 
Right, I had to throw a huge block at his Niz Cantle, so that thing did a great job. Damn. Great card advantage with all them exploring. Damn. Alright, man. Let's see if we can't find a W to finish this one up, man. See if we can't do it. Okay, Terramorphic Expanse, okay. Oh, the Hatcher. Alright, it's getting real, real awkward here. Oh, well, I kept the two-lander. Come on, any, any untapped land, baby. Come on, any untapped land. Ready to go. Okay, tunnel grinder. All right. Oh, thank good the good heavens. Uh, okay. Um. Yep, alright, well... Oh, okay, the Stomper is actually really nice there. Um, let's... That one. Wanna get my one whole entire damage in, man. Forest. Alright, man, swing for one. There we go. Now, this needs how many boar counters on it? Three or more. Alright, yeah, we gotta be a... That's at their end step, so they could do that next turn's end step. We have to hit that with Tranquil Fro back here. Might as well exile their graveyard too while we're at it. Yeah, it's definitely worth the... Uh... Okay, uh, that. And, uh... That. Destroy an artifact, exile the graveyard. Uh, you. Not super great or anything, but, you know, it takes that thing off of the field before it flips over. So, and that was good. The graveyard exile hmm, didn't have anything really going on there, I guess. Nothing too great. We're getting out ramped. That's great. Even with the stomper, that that was a horrifying early game, honestly. I mean I kept the hand, you know, but like goddamn. I should actually be be blessed that I even have the stomper and four lands on the field. Grixis descend us soul rage. Well, it looks like it, yeah. We got Emerald cooking over here. BAM! Man. Okay. Hey, I mean, it keeps Tranquil Frill back on the field. We had to sacrifice Topiary Stomper, who can't attack or block. Then, then honestly, fine. I'm going to try to get this one down, man. Call Dinosaur. Whoa. All right, um, he's going to be taking our creatures. Um, that's a bit annoying. Um, start with the Stomper, I guess. Decent hit. And, you know, he gets something nice on the field. He has seven lands, so the topiaries will work for him.
What's going on here? Is he going to sink his mana into this? That's very expensive. He, you know, he does get it. Get a nice little token there, I guess. Okay. Okay. Are we just going to go wide, though? Because these are all attacking, and we're going to have the Polani Hatcher 3-3s three attacking also. Right? So we're swinging at him with a lot here. As a matter of fact, uh, 7, ten, uh, 11. So I think we won there? Um, No, no. We, okay, let's just drop this one and win. I, I think that's it. Right, because they block two four powers, and they take... Oh, they take nine. Oh, shit, they take nine. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed lethal because I didn't play freaking goddamn it's when... Oh, what a... Oh, wait, did we get just exactly lethal? Oh, I must have missed a number in there somewhere. All right, oh, thank God. Thank God. I thought I did that right. Thank goodness, thank goodness, because, yeah, that virtue, oh, man, he's going to be killing our creatures and then uh, bringing them back, roaming throne. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, all right. Just beat non-budget. Ooh, RDW with their own Godric. Very nice, very nice, Lord Lazy. Damn, Chief, he cooking. I agree, all Raging Bull. I like seeing whatever the heck he's doing over there. He should have blocked the eggs. Yeah, don't, don't underestimate the eggs. As a matter of fact, fucking fear. The eggs. All right, boys. Oh, man. I'm fucking... I'm good. I'm good. I hope you guys had a good time tonight. As always, leave a like on the stream if you uh, had a good time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't advise doing the uh, three roaming thrones. I would much rather you take them out if you actually wanted dubs and put in Bone Horde Dracosaurs instead. But nevertheless, they're, they're fun for an Itali chain. It's a low percentage play, though, as you can see. I still haven't casted each player's entire library with Itali, which I want to. That's the point of these streams. Oh, but nevertheless, they're a lot of fun. So take care of yourselves, boys and girls. Take care of each other. Come back here 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow for more of the worst Magic Arena stream. Lord Lazy, nice watching. See you. Thank you. All Raging will be blessed. Get some rest. Oh, very nice. Thanks for the games. Hey, thank you for coming by. And thank you for the game against you, man. All right, everybody. Like my stream. Bye-bye.